Oh, fuck. I got these wires everywhere. Pissing me off. And I got... Oh, shit. My microphone's falling. Nope. I need a new microphone stand. Like, real bad. Really bad. Okay. Checking said audio levels. Check mic 212. Alright. Now. Now I'm ready. After the, uh... After the, uh, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? The event that was the Game Awards show, 2020. Man, that, uh, I really, like, died there at the end of that, of that shit. I lost all my energy, and right after that, I went to sleep. I just instantly went to sleep. And I said, I'll get up. By the way, if you look on the side of the, uh, uh, the whatchamacallit, the overlay, we have pearls and Von Karma. Yay, I finally updated it. Even though I lost the original file, the original Photoshop file, <laughs> so I had to redo it as best as I can. I think I did pretty good for what it, for what it's worth. For what it's worth. I'm not a professional. Anyways, so... Phoenix Wright, Ace, uh, Ace Attorney. I was about to say Ace Combat. <laughs> Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. All right. So where the hell was I at? This is, I think this is where I left off, right? Okay. So, let me just. It might just be my headset. I'm not sure. Actually, how loud is the game? I'm gonna lower the game a bit by like. Like, I'm gonna lower it to, I'm gonna lower it there. All right. So, where we last left off, um, we finished the said trial for case two. Um, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that Morgan didn't get incarcerated. Is that the word I'm looking for? I'm assuming she didn't get arrested. But, of course, Eeny Meeny did, because she's a moitera. Or should I say Mimi Meeny? Uh, what else happened? So, after that, we moved on to the third case. Uh, I forgot the name of this fucking case already, even though it was right in front of me for a moment. But our client this time around is... I forgot his goddamn name. Is Max Galactica. Maximilian Galactica. And the murder or the victim, shall we say, it's Russell Berry, owner of the circus. We've met his daughter, Regina, and her man-eating lion that almost killed me, uh, Regine. And apparently she had a tiger before named Leon, or Leon, because the accent mark. And that tiger has passed away. Uh, I forgot why she said it passed away. I think because it was a bad tiger or something. I don't know. Maybe an accident happened. It got it got put down. It got Tiger Kinged. And and so far, what we know is that Maximilian left the hat behind. Uh, Maya stole a goddamn poster because she's a klepto and I love her. And we have a decu a document. Wow, a document that. That is, is my fucking microphone stand moving? Are you kidding me? No, it's not. All right. We have a document talking about uh, the negotiations for Max's salary. Other than that, we know Max is hiding some things. And I think that's about it. I believe where we last left off, we said all we could to... Well, maybe not said all we could, but at the time. So I'm assuming I'll show her the document for his salary? No, okay, so she's not going to say anything about that. What about the poster? Nope, none of that either. All right, cool. So she's just... I think I showed her a picture of the crime scene. And I don't i don't think she did anything. What about Max's hat? The sick hat... Uh, wow, I already, I already fucked up my reading. Wow. Tonight's going to be... Tonight's going to be one of those nights, isn't it? Okay. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> The silk- uh, fuck, I can't even read. The silk hat is Max's. That's right. 
It's beautiful, isn't it? I thought up I thought up the idea for wearing the hat. Huh? Really? Yep. He took my sketch to the hat shop. And they made a custom hat for him based off the sketch. There's only one of these silk hats in the entire world. Isn't that cool? That's interesting. That's nice to know. Okay. Anything else to talk about? I think that's all she has for now. Um, let's see if we can go and meet the, uh, oh, what's happening here? December 28th, Barry's Big Circus, Circus Entrance. Huh? Hey, Nick, look over there. What? There's someone over there. Excuse me. Who the fuck is this pinhead Larry looking motherfucker? <laughs> Hello? Wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me? What? huh, what, me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? N no, I'm just your average day Joe. Your everyday average Joe. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Y yes, I am. I've got, I got nothing to do with what's going on here. He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name's Phoenix Wright. What the hell is happening on my phone? Alright. My name's Phoenix Wright. I'm a spirit medium. My name's Maya. Well, I, um, just happen to be passing by. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny. Not a carny. I'm a performer. Actually, I'm a ventriloquist. Oh, uh, so let me guess. He doesn't talk without his, without his puppet? Ventriloquist. <laughs> I, I'm Benjamin w Woodman. Your last name is Woodman? <laughs> yes, that's right. But everyone calls me B -B Ben. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's, your, that's your alias, right? You making fun of his speech impediment, Maya? <laughs> I believe they call it a stage name. Okay. So what's what's happening, Ben? Excuse me, Ben. Um, yes? You mean me? About the murder. I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. Really? I'm just a regular normal guy. I don't know. Uh, um, this guy's so nervous, he's creeping me out. Nick, cheer up. Just try and smile. Try and smile. Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica. M M Max? He, he, he's not, not a very nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? Eh, he's kind of a... Max is kind of a spoiled little bitch, not gonna lie. But I mean, when, when the going gets tough, he, he cuts the shit. Uh, ow, my head hurts. Yikes, I hope he's okay. Sounds like he's just uh, popped a gasket. Okay, ventriloquism. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist. I am. I'm just a regular guy. You already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Oh, yes. Nick, don't yell at him. You can't do that. I can do whatever the hell I want. I can't help it. He's making me nervous. Ben, would you mind showing me some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Well, I... Right now? My... Ah, oh, your puppet's gone. <laughs> He's contagious. <laughs> I... I... I wh why? <laughs> okay. I'm assuming... Huh. Would you mind taking a look at this? Um, I... I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. Okay. Will this make you calm down? I'm an attorney. Oh, uh, never mind. Okay. Shit. I tried. I don't I don't think the salary would do anything. What about the hat? Nope. What about the moita? Damn, nothing's getting him to talk. Okay. Well, I'll come back to him. I'll come back to him later. Then. Once I go talk to, uh... Whatchamacallit. Let's head back to the clown's room? I think it's a clown's room, right? Moe's. Looks like a clown room. Yeah, there's a clown poster in here. Some clown outfits. He's clowning around. My guy's a fucking clown. Hello? Co- What? Kablam- Kablamo? Congratulations! You're the big wiener! 
the one millionth visitor to the room of one Mr. Mo Curls, aka me. Earplugs. Must find earplugs. Does he have dog shoes? Look at that. To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you care for the organic grape? Just one. Do you get my joke? You got my joke there, right? No, not really. <laughs> I welched on giving you more than one. I don't... I don't get it. Um... No, no, no. If it was funny, it was your duty as a human being to laugh. Well... Well, it wasn't funny. People who don't laugh are usually last seen in Lan Lansing. What? Wait, what? Catch my drift? Last seen in Lansing. What? I... I really don't understand. Um, Maya? <laughs> of course she would get it. Of course she would get it. Alright. This is like some... From some Faustin nightmare. Faustin nightmare? Faustin? No, whatever. Come on, it was funny! Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. You sure do have a great taste of clothes, girly. Like at the gra uh, look at the garb. Look at that garb. Wow. You look just like Greta Garb. Oh. He makes some lame-ass puns. I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't. You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two. But this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what, that's what I object to. Okay, okay, I get it. But you have to admit, he's kind of funny. <laughs> no, I don't have to admit that, because he isn't. <laughs> this guy is a... This guy's a troop. Okay, well... Can you, can you tell me about the circus? Could you please tell us more about the big... Uh, about the very big circus? I just want to keep saying Big Berry Circus. It's a very big story! <laughs> I get that one, at least. You, sh are you sure you got that kind of time? And the hits just keep on coming. This circuit has been in business for 20 years. We all perform under the guidance of Ringmaster Russell Berry. 20 years? Wow. Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TVs, and bowling. Bowling. <laughs> There's just... <laughs> wait, bowling? Come on, Cousin Nico, let's go bowling. <laughs> There's just too much competition. But... But I love the circus. I love it too. That's why I've been here for 20 years. We work hard to keep this show running. No one sends in the clowns on us. Nick, he just made a joke. Laugh. <laughs> it was very funny. The ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world. A real class act. Even when there was no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Yeah, I believe it. Because he knew that I had a family to take care of. Aw. He was happy to take care of his employees. Aw, man. Now I feel sad. <laughs> I see. How could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Mo? Wiggity, 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 what? Huh? I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was b Nick was bored without a sense of, and born without a sense of humor. Wow, Maya, really? <laughs> wow. Okay, Maya. I mm, uh, I don't I don't know how to react to that. Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Cause baby, I was born this way. Let's talk about the murder. Ah, let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tuckered out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime. Just as we suspected. This guy's an eyewitness to the crime. Okay, well tell me more about Russell. The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? When you've been a performer for, as long, for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Hmm. I realize that even my act can be a bit, a bit long and wait, what? Can get a bit long in tooth. 
Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, um, old-fashioned. A bit long in the tooth. He called his- he called his jokes a snaggle tooth? <laughs> but that makes- uh, but that- but that make-believers take things too far. What? Make-believer? Yeah, who the hell are you talking about? You talking about Max? The magician! The one that thinks he's all high and mighty. Oh, Max, yeah, he's definitely talking about Max. He had the gall to say to me, You're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Well, the joke's on him now. On him? Yep. He got in. He's got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder. Oh, what happened? Go ahead. Nope, no way. Just forget I said anything. I bet he's still hiding something about Max. Okay. You say you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can share my story with that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word, pal. I'm just gonna let you I'm just gonna wait, I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details. But only if you can get old stiff lip here to make to make with the funny. Stiff lips? Wait. You don't mean me. Nick, you can do it. <clears throat> What's the matter? Just getting ready, okay? Do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. I'm gonna fucking kill everybody in this room. I hate all of you. At least his ex expectations are low. I hate all of you. You're all fucking critics. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. You son of a bitch. Yeesh. Cut a guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over there. It wasn't that great. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. I fuck. <laughs> Maya. You're getting on my nerves, you're pushing some buttons. That night. Once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw... That's when I saw a putty tat. Without question, without a doubt, it was the magician. I mean, that's pretty sus looking if you ask me. That's all I saw, but it was just pro it just proves how terrible that man actually is. He knows more about Max than he's letting on. Yeah, it sounds like he has some beef with Max. Will this hat jog your memory, or is it the poster? Three famous symbols. Embolized with Max is three famous symbols. What? Really? He has three famous symbols. What the hell is he talking about? Is this an, I guess it's the card, his hat, and his cape, maybe? I guess that's would be that would be symbols, right? What do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Ah, you want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? I see. Well, this is what you do. When you tell a joke, imagine everyone wearing underwear and dance the lumba. What? I think that's enough advice for now. Nick, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. Oh man, okay, I'm sorry. You guys are assholes. <laughs> it's that uppity faker's uppity top hat. They found this at the scene of the crime, didn't they? That's what I've been told. Unbelievable. That jerk killed the ringmaster. It really is a shame what happened to the ringmaster. Huh, Mo? It seems that the ringmaster was truly a great man. Okay, what about the salary? Okay, he won't react to the salary. Alright, cool. What about the Moida scene? Russell! How could anyone do this to you? I... Oh, man. Mo's talking... Uh, Mo's taking this really hard. Alright, shit. Maybe this will cheer him up. Ha! Okay, never mind. Never mind, he doesn't, he doesn't care about my attorney badge. Alright, what about, um... Oh, I want to check the room out, actually. This is striking my fancy over here. Us clowns really take our work seriously. I try to hone my craft day and night with the latest ingester technology. 
Unicycles, trampolines, balancing balls, accordions? It looks like you put a quite a bit of, of wear and tear on the equipment. Well, the theme of my act as a clown is, how many ways can a fat, funny guy fall down? I don't care what I break or how I break it, as long as it ends with me on my bum. This guy's a this guy's a riot. He's a hoot. Got some banana peels. Little known fact, one can truly slip on banana peels. I have tested it before. <laughs> Cause I was curious one day. And it works. It's a red TV in here. Oh, I can't check the poster? Some outfits. I don't I don't think the outfits would do much. But I mean, eh, they can be important. I look awfully snazzy in these costumes. Um, did you just use the word snazzy in a sentence? I sure did. There's a, there's a hot, wait, what? There's a, what the fuck is that word? Hoit? Hoit con, contra, what the fuck? I'll be honest, I don't know any of those words. There's something from the best international clown designers. At least, that's what they said on TV, shopping channel anyways. I like having a big collection so I can match my costume to my mood and my carrot. <laughs> you know, I only own one t-shirt, the rest are all clown costumes. Snazzy dresser. More like snazzy dresser if you had More like sn spazzy? <laughs> spazzy dresser? Okay. Alright. Well, I don't, I don't think I'll find anything here anymore. He has a bunch of carrots, I just realized that. Oh my god. What the hell is this about? There's a hole in the ceiling. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Well, um... I was riding a pogo stick and I guess I just overdid it a little. Overdid it a little? What can I say? Sometimes things get a bit crazy in one's college days. Huh? My man, my man pogo through the ceiling. Okay. Well, thanks, Mr. Uh, I forgot his fucking name already. What's your name? What's your goddamn name? Mr. Uh, Mo. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Mo. Mo the Clown. I'm going to... I didn't really get anything from that, did I? I have this. I have this. Well, maybe I can get, um... I don't, I don't think this will be enough to get Max to start talking, but it's something, right? It's something. Something rather than nothing. Uh, circus entrance. Fucking Ben won't talk to me. Let me, let me just check the, uh, I don't think there was, there was anyone in the master's room, right? Okay. We'll head back to the detention center, talk to Max, and see if we can get him to open up a little bit. December 28th detention center, visitor's room. Oh, it's my two sweeties. Welcome to the detention center. Did he just call me his sweetie? Again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well... We've gathered quite a few clues. Wonderful! Fantabulous! I mean, fabulous. That's why we came to meet with you again. What's... what's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Okay then, Max. Let's make this absolutely fabulous. I'm fabulous. So fabulous. Tell me about... check your hat out. Ah! This is my silk hat! It's the only one of its kind in the world. It's one of my most prized possessions. This silk hat, uh, this silk hat pr proves that I was somewhere else. Where did they find this? Huh, sweetie? They found it at the murder scene. What? I... I don't know nothing about... I don't know nothing about nothing. Aw, Max is so pathetic like this. <laughs> Your dreams are crushed, huh, Maya? Guess you're stuck with me. Max must be really confused. Alright. So what the hell is this about? Can I ask you... Can I ask... Oh, can I ask what you do with such a... What, exuberant... God, I can't read. Exuberant... 
salary? I don't even know if that's the word. We've already covered this point. I'm paying off my father's debt. How could he possibly have such a large amount of debt? And once he got in trouble with the mafia. For example, say you rented a video. And perhaps you forgot about it for, say, a short period, about 10 years. You would have the biggest late fee known to man. It's kind of like that. Wow. Now I can see how you can get that much debt. That makes sense now. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there has, there has to be a limit to a video debt. At that point, you might as well just be like, listen, I'll just purse it off your fucking hands. Maximilian Galactica. No matter when you see me, you get shivers, don't you? <sighs> shivers. I call them more, uh... Uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Shivers isn't the word I would use. The silk hat, the cloak, the white rose on my chest. Oh, I guess the white rose is the symbol, not the card on his, on his outfit. They're my symbols. You know I had to cut the number of symbols to three. Really? Yeah, quite a few to begin with huh, then, huh? Well, I thought that you could never have too many symbols. Sunglasses, beauty mark, soft pillows for lips, a beard, buck teeth. I gave all sorts of symbols a shot. What if I forgot one when I put on my makeup, everyone would forget who I am. That's awful, especially for a magician. Okay. Well, Max... Oh, he has more shit to talk about. Didn't I talk to him about this shit already, though? We heard a lie about you at the circus, Max. Ah, uh, you must mean from the dinosaurs. How, how were those Jurassic... Uh, Jurassic j uh, d uh, uh, can't say the word. Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, 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 sweetie. That's what they call me. That's what they call jealousy. Jealousy. They're absolutely jealous of my absolutely fabulous self. People who really understand. Uh, people who really understand can see the obvious difference between us. People who really understand. For instance, my sweetie pie. Hmm? So Regina understands him? I plan on getting married to her. She's truly my sweet, my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so cool. It's already in the works. Oh. That's strange. Regina never said anything about actually marrying this Joker. I don't think he's talking about Regina. He might be talking about someone else. You met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder? Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. once I was done with practice. I went to his room right after we finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard about that. He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for, for him to return. Huh? Sorry, Max. I have something I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's strange. I'll be right back. It should only take about 10 minutes. So right now I can already see the setup. Cause there's the fucking magician hat and feather and cape. So... Hmm. This is interesting. Okay. Because the hat would prove that he would be inside Russell's office, but obviously someone took the hat and placed it at the murder scene. And then, I waited for him. But he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had, tampered, uh, had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. But I have no idea what he went off to do. Maybe he was blackmailed. Or something. Alright. Since he won't tell me about his meeting with Russell, guess it's time for him to open his senses. Reveal yourself. Meeting with Russell. Last night, you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such? Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies and I hate liars, even more. 
What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Actually, no, I don't. Huh. Unless, uh, Mo had, like, a statement or something. You know what? Actually, I don't. I don't have any evidence. I thought I would. Okay. And I can't present anything to him, really. This is all I have. I need more evidence. Alright. Well, I'll be back. I'll be back with you sooner rather than later, Max. This guy doesn't want to tell me anything. Did I show him the crime scene? Did I show him any of this? Would you mind taking a look at this? Um... I guess we'll need you to look at this after all. I did show him stuff and he didn't fucking... Yeah. Just to make sure, I showed him my attorney's badge, right? You know what? I totally fucking forgot. I forgot that I can tell them about people. Would you mind taking a look at this? Okay, well, he won't talk about Max. What about the ringleader? Nope. What about Regina? God damn it, you just don't want to talk, do you? What about Mo? You are just... You're just a piece of work. Okay. Well, I'll head to Mo then. Maybe Mo will have something for me. Mo's room. Alright, Mo. Tell me about Max. Hmm. If he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only just that he should die. Wait, what? It's only just that he should die too. Mo! Sorry, I crossed the line. But he truly is. A, he truly is a dis. dis uh. Blah, 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 blah. He truly is a disgusting human being. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max cloaked. Uh, Max clonked Ben right over the head as hard as he could. Ben? The ventriloquist with the speech impediment? You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves. The cafeteria? Let's just say there's there's what? There's gotta be <laughs> there's gotta be something interesting there. What the fuck? I don't get it. Is that like a is that like a spice or a food? Ah uh, yes. The very big circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Ah, thank you. Um, this is an atlas. <laughs> Man, you are such a hoot, Mo. Oh, I kill myself. Really? I'm dying here. Cor- uh, Cor- Wait, what? Corini? Ca- Car- I- Fuck! <laughs> now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. Well, I got a map, at least. Guess I'll head on to the cafeteria? Hey, Gumshoe, how's it hanging, buddy? Uh, would it be through the big top? Cafeteria, there we go. Wow, this is a shitty cafeteria. Oh my god, it's dirty as hell. Why is there a broken bottle here? Ew, this place is gross. This must be because of last night. They didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me. What was it that Mo said? He said that yesterday morning Max clonked Ben over the head here. He also said that there's gotta be something interesting here. Nick, what has gotta be interesting? Don't ask. Hmm. Alright. Well, this is interesting. You don't usually see a broken bottle here. What's this? Must be a juice bottle or something. Uh, watch out, Nick. There's broken glass all over the floor. A broken bottle just lying in the middle of the floor? Do you think it means anything? There's gotta be, there's gotta be something interesting there. Huh? Looks like we're gonna have to go back and meet with them. Him? Broken bottle. Gotti? Meet with who? What the fuck is he talking? Is he talking about Ben? What about this podium? This is strange. There's nothing on top of the stand. Look here. Max is written on it. It must be his VIP table. It's a bit too small to be a VIP table. You won't be putting 10 course meals on this. Well, you could still eat hamburgers, right? Oh, you and your burgers. You and your burgers. At least you're saying hamburgers now instead of hamburg. <laughs> the kitchen's over here. 
Everyone must have kitchen tur uh, must have taken turns cooking. There's duty was posted here. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at cooking for th for this many people. Maya's killer hamburgers. Killa? Did I just say killa? Wow, that's my ghetto this happening. You try it, wouldn't you? I mean, haven't I already? I assume I assume she cooked for Phoenix at some point. What about this? This seems interesting. A bulletin board for bulletins. It doesn't look like there's anything useful here. Boring. Maybe we should leave a juicy tidbit for someone to read. Juicy? You know, like a fake clue. Maybe something like, message from the killer. Give it up, Maya. You know Gumshoe would take it all serious. It's a message from the killer. The Skilla Killer. I said Gotti. Who the fuck? What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> Benjamin Woodman. Stooge. Maybe he might be talking about Max? Because Max is... He's, he's Gotti? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. Let, let's go talk to, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's go talk to, well, first of all, maybe we can get him to talk. Know anything about this? Damn it. You just, you just suck, Ben. I hate you. <laughs> you suck. You don't do anything. You don't help me. Max, what you sweating for? What? I'm, I'm sorry. I had, I had like a, I had a true moment there. I thought I was selecting the bottle. What about this? Fabulous. You'd like me to sign this for you? Okay. All right. My man's just. God damn it. Well then, I'll go talk to Mo then. Hey Mo, what the hell is this about? What do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Ah, you want some advice about your comedy? Maybe... Maybe he's talking about Gumshoe? Gumshoe, check this out. God damn it. God damn it. The only other person is, uh... Is her. Know anything about this bottle? Damn it! Orange juice bottle that was found broken on the cafeteria floor. Who the fuck? Who am I missing? I'm not missing anybody. Huh. Maybe. Hmm. Nothing there. Maybe I can talk to him about Mo. Okay. Can't talk to him about Mo. That's cool. Can't talk to him about Mo. Mo's 46? Jesus. He looks younger than that. He doesn't look that old. I would put him in his 30s. Can you tell him about, can you tell him about Woodman? Ah, oh, Ben. How's he doing? He's a ventriloquist, isn't he? That's right. Boy, was I, sh was I surprised when they told me his secret. He's got a second mouth where his belly button should be. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that past him. Just kidding. I don't think you are. They wouldn't tell me a single thing about the murder. Ah, that's a, that's a simple problem to solve. He won't talk if he doesn't have his puppet Trillo. Trillo. Well, I assume this much. Trillo. If Ben doesn't have his ventriloquist puppets, you barely got a word out of him. Really? Hmm. Master and puppet. Which one's the true master? Which one's the true puppet? So where the hell would I find his puppet? Hmm. Maybe Max knows where the puppet's at? If I ask him? Well, one thing I want to do is... He's not going to say anything about anything. I do, however, want to talk about... Mo. That's Mo! He's such a funny clown. He's been a good friend to my dad for a real long time now. 
he was good friends with Remaster? My dad always said, When it comes to who I can trust the circus to, it's definitely Mo. Hmm. Yep, that clown is one lovable stooge. Don't you think so, Nick? Um, no comment. Alright, what about Woodman? Ah, that guy. His name is Ben, right? Huh? You don't know him? I don't know. He didn't really catch my eye. He's friends with Trillo, right? Wait. We're the ones asking the question around here. Well, where the fuck is the... Where is he? Huh. Okay. Well... Shit. I mean, I can talk to Max about the people... Oh, I also didn't talk uh, to Mo about Regina. Maybe he has something interesting to say. Let's head back to Mo. A lot of walking back and forth. Tell me about Regina. That's the Ringmaster's daughter, Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching the circus performances. Cuter than a little puppy, Maltese. And that's Regina. If only my... my... Lorena? Lorena? Wow. Lorena, for some reason I couldn't say her name. Or Lorena. It's Lorena, right? Lorena? Shit. Lorena? Ah, Lorena's my daughter. She lives with her mother now. It's true that they say... what they say about Tears of a Clown. That they're super sad. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's head back to the detention center. I'll head back there. And then we will talk to Max about the people in said circus. Because I haven't done that yet. Max, tell me about Regina. Ah, oh, my sweetie pie. She must be really lonely with me all cooped up in there. Actually, she was laughing and rolling around with her tiger. She's my special someone, and I am her special someone. Uh-huh, very complex. Alright. So tell me about Woodman. I can't believe a guy with the ugly mug is after my sweetie pie princess. Especially after she has eluded my charms for such a long time. There isn't much you can do about that, right? Hmm. You haven't even been truly in love, have you? Huh? When you are truly in love with someone, you be jealous of their mirror because it traps their image inside. What? <laughs> I, I guess. Aw, don't you think that's sweet of him, Nick? I'm going, go, I'm going to go back to my sweetie pie. Then I'm going to turn that dumb puppet into a toy glider. I guess you two haven't worked out your differences yet. Can you tell me where the puppet is? What about Mo? What about this person? Unfortunately, I don't take on a pair. Oh, wow, you just really don't care about Mo, huh? Did I talk to him about the ringmaster? Just between you and I, he wasn't a bad guy at all. I can say that for sure. That's the first time I ever heard you say something nice about someone, Max. You must have really been a nice guy. What about the detective? Okay. Um... Hmm. When you make absolutely fabulous magic, it costs enormous sums of money. Sums that will boggle your mind. There's something else. There's something I'm missing. Maybe I need to go and, uh, examine some more things. I'm missing something. Something very crucial. Okay. Is there anything here? I don't think there would be. Hmm. Let's... Well, I checked everything in the big top. I know that. Let's head... Oh, that... My bad. To... I want to head to the cafeteria, but you gotta go to the big top for that. Let's head back to the cafeteria. I didn't check everything in there. Maybe there's something in here. The chair's been knocked over. That's what it looks like. It almost looks as if someone knocked it over in a struggle or used it for self-defense. Or maybe Regine... Uh, Regine. Maybe Regent just likes to eat his dinner on, in the cafeteria. 
Okay. It looks like they left exactly as it, uh, exactly as it was on the night of the murder. They didn't seem to worry about cleaning up the dishes, did they? Hmm, looking at all these dishes is making me hungry. Let's go get a burger at the snack stand outside. Once we're finished with the case. Alright, then let's get this over with, Nick. Here we go. Where's the mute button when you need it? Oh, I would never mute Maya. I would never do that. There are dirty dishes all over the place. It must have been too hectic last night to clean up. You know I can't stand a mess, Nick. I think you and I should clean this place up for them. Oh, I'm not doing that. What do we have to clean up? One, because I hate dirty cafeterias. Two, because one bears repeating. But this is a crime scene. We can't clean it up. We have to preserve it for evidence. Uh, you know I really hate dirty cafeterias. Not as much as I hate cleaning dirty cafeterias. <laughs> Jesus. Huh. Keep our cafeterias clean. Doesn't seem like anyone ever reads the sign, huh? Maybe they should make it easier to understand. Clean it or die. Well, that would definitely make them clean it up. <laughs> clean it or die. Okay, well, I guess that's it in the cafeteria. I showed him the bottle. He didn't do anything. I didn't show... The only person I didn't show the bottle, I think, is, um... Actually, did I show her the bottle? I think I did. Yeah. Okay. And I talked to her about Woodman and Mo. Damn. Alright. Just want to make sure she's not keeping any secrets, is she? Nope, she doesn't seem to be. I don't think anyone's in the master's room. I'm pretty sure I checked everything that I could check in here, right? Why is this still unchecked? This was the table he used when the visitors came to see him. Ew, there's a mud caked there's mud caked on the table. Someone with terrible manners must have put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about it. I I wasn't. How uncouth do you think I am anyways? Okay, well, that was interesting. Huh. Well let me move on then. Uh, we've checked the cafeteria. I didn't check anything outside, but honestly, I really don't think there's anything outside. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell me about people? Can you tell me about Mo? No, he can't tell me about Mo. I did that already. I forgot. I forgot I did that already. Tell me about Woodman? Nope. Yeah. So Gumshoe is just... He's just not gonna tell me about anything, huh? Can you tell me about Francesca? You're going down this time, pal. Oh, I, def oh, I remember this. Yeah, I remember this. He says she's been cracking the whip, and you're fucked. Okay, well... Let me check the rest of Moe's room. Because there's still, there's still like a lot that I haven't checked in here, I think. I checked the... I didn't check the carrots. Carrots are one of my trademark props. Yep, I saw you use them. You must believe in carrots and no stick approach. You put the carrot out in front? For motivation, but I guess the trick is gawking what flavor you want each day. Exactly. You were really paying attention, weren't you? You know, I eat about five of those carrots every single day. If you eat that many, you gotta change you gotta change up the taste every now and then. I didn't understand any of that, nor do I ever want to. Take a look at my desk. Aren't I the most studious clown you've ever seen? Every free moment I have, I spend studying or reading. The classic pull my finger or clown car maintenance and repair. Not to mention the bestseller, Jean Lect. What the fuck? Jean Lect de Lectis. Guide to ob um, oh fuck. obnoxious French parrots. What? Um, they all seem to cover rather basic topics, though. Maybe he's just trying to cover all those bases? Exactly. I want to be a, I want to be a renaissance clown. Too bad he didn't buy how to be a funny clown. Alright, I checked that. What about his bed? 
Mo, you got quite the collection of pajamas. They really scream out to you. You think they're loud? Huh. I kind of thought they were refined. You know, a bit too adult for me to use on stage. That's why I use them as pajamas. Wait a second. He sleeps in clown costumes? I wouldn't put it past him. What's this? A banana peel? Oh, God, Maya. Oh, my. What a wonderful fall, girly. You should remember that when you see a banana peel, get ready to fall down. That's one of the most basic talents of a clown... Of cl basic tenets of clownmanship. How? Every night, I fall down a hundred times to practice the proper banana peel breakfall. Whoa. He's just... He's just... Mm. Okay. Wow, he really is a pro, huh, Nick? His falls are totally different than my slip. Well, whatever you say, Maya. He's just... Wow. <laughs> I practiced... While you were... While you were busy getting laid, I was practicing the way of the fall. Okay, well, there's nothing here. Shit. There's nothing left for Mo, it seems. And I, I really highly doubt that there's anything around here. Unless we get his fucking puppet. Which, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do that. Let me see. Hmm. This door must lead to the lodging houses. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if... If no one's actually entering? It's almost like a Zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even gonna try to justify the question with the reason. I bet all the stairs... Uh, I bet all the stars stay at the lodging house. This is a box office where they sell all the tickets for the circus. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. So then why don't you buy one now? Hmm, sounds like a plan. Oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. Don't you look at me like that, Maya. If you want to buy it for you, just ask me already. You know, I never do that to you, Nick. Didn't she do that to me last game? Why don't you just steal it? Why don't you just steal it, Maya? You steal everything. Nick, the interest is right here. Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that. Nick, you can only get your picture taken with Dally. Dally. Dolly the elephant. There's no Dolly. Not today. I know that too. Oh well. I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. It's not like we're here on business or anything. Okay. It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks, not to mention candy and popcorn. They even got snow cones. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? I would eat a fucking snow cone. Well, not a snow cone. I'll eat ice cream, though. Ice cream's always good. I have some I have some eggnog ice cream in my mini fridge right now. I eat, I eat weird flavors of ice cream. That's the type of shit that I, that I do. Let me, let me actually just check something real quick. <coughs> Make sure that everything's running properly. Alright. Look around. There's tons of snow piled up around here. Yay! Wait a second. There's no syrup, though. I want syrup. You're gonna just eat snow off the ground? Hopefully she doesn't notice the discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup. Okay. Look, look, it's Max. Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right in front of you. Sure, the sign says Big Berry Circus, but looking around, he might as well just say Circus de, Circus de Galactica. The stars on his cheek, sure, are dreamy. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. Nah, it's all right. That's fine. I don't. I don't need a. I don't need, I don't need no star in my face. The very big top is so very <coughs> enormous. Yep, one look at the huge tent looming over you and you realize this is the circus. I know, I know. It really, it really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? I guess, maybe. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, who knows. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Well, there's this stuff too. Those streamers do a nice job introducing the circus performers. Maximilian Galactica and his comedical comrades. 
You know, you don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? You're right. I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using them due to little kids climbing up to the top. Um, I don't think that was why. Okay. Well, let me see. There has to be some- okay, I I'm assuming I do have the fucking evidence for Max. Because he's just- I'm not- I'm not getting anywhere right now, and I don't think I'm gonna find that, um... I don't think I'm gonna find the puppet. So, let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can wring out of you, Max. I still don't know, like, what would- what would prove- first of all, let's check the map. Mo, Lodging How, Arco? Who the hell is Arco? Okay. Um... We have this. We showed him everything. I believe we showed him everything. Maybe we can use this to get him to talk? I don't know. It's the only thing I can really think of right now. Meeting with Russell. So let's just skip ahead of that. Maybe he got called in because of this. Who knows? Jeebus! What's the matter? Sweetie, you must have some wax built in your ears. You haven't listened to me at all. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> Well, shit. I hate lies. I'll try again. Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? No, I... Got an enormous raise a week ago. I mean... This still technically is his fee, but... Okay, I'm... I don't... <laughs> I don't get it. It's a paper... I'm sorry, what does it say? Ringmaster's Papers. Document related to Max's salary negotiations. He got an enormous raise one week ago. I mean... That... <laughs> Can you prove that I negotiated anything else besides my salary? Well, I have the Ringmaster's Papers that talks about your salary and how your salary got a raise. Oh man, I guess that does prove I talked about something else besides my salary. What? <laughs> like... Okay, that was weird. That's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with me being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Max? You finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F f fabulous all right, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? Why'd he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Hmm, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about? Well, not if I don't have to. I mean, I am your fucking attorney. Is, uh, isn't this why the ringmaster called you into the room that night? I would assume... Like, it has to be the broken bottle, right? If he did something crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. I mean, why wasn't that the first question? That can answer... All right. He goes, prove to me that I talked about something else besides my salary. And then I'm like, what about the broken bottle? He's like, no, 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 no. You, you don't, they're not hearing me. Prove to me that I talked about something besides my salary. What about this paper that talks about your salary? See? Now you got me. So I was just one step ahead. <laughs> one step ahead of the game. Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where'd you get that? The cafeteria? But you already knew that, didn't you? D of course. It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max? Oh, let me guess. He probably took the fucking puppet and hid it. He hid the fucking ventriloquist puppet. What is it, my sweetie? 
It didn't fall and break on the floor. You use this bottle too. You, you beat the shit out of. You, you beat the ever living shit out of Ben. B ben. Oh, look at that puppet. He's an adorable little puppet. You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. F fabulous You might as well be a magician. Unlock successful. And I'm back to full health. Alright. The truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast, we had a run-in. We had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. We fought about my sweetie pie. Do you mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told me my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. What you put up with that? Ill-bred? Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her? Are you sure this was Ben we're talking about? All I can say is that he made me mad and I had him t and I had <laughs> and I had to tap him on his hard head. That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized that this was my chance. Your chance to murder him. That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him, "Let me marry my sweetie pie." What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie. And no one else's. Hmm, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? So, you took his puppet. Can you tell me where it's at? Hmm, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trilo can't say a word. Not without Ben. Trilo? The puppet, the ventriloquist's puppet. His real name is Trillo Quest. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hid it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If the puppet started flapping off at the ballast, I'd be screwed. Or balsa. My bad, not balls. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist's puppet? You're so smart, sweetie. Hmm. Where'd you hide him? What? Sweetie. You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous! That should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hid Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweetie? No problem. Not at all. Thank you, Max. You know, I can't stand to see my sweetie in the jam. The don't go hide- don't go hiding puppets. Okay. Well, time to go get that puppet back. December 28th, Big Berry Circus. I mean, Berry Big Circus. Huh, Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out. He's probably in the tent. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, what's happening here? What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative, of course we're making progress. But everyone loved the Ringmaster, and there's no sign of footprints at the scene. There's still a lot of mysterious uh, mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're planning on my downfall. It looks like the same. It looks like the same as all. It looks the same as always. A great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. Will you just stop it, you poster pilfer? I'm just kidding. You know, I already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of the posters? Yeah. Uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said that he hid Trillo somewhere in this room. Trillo, all the ventriloquist's puppet. Okay. Why did I go to move? It's probably in the desk, I would assume. Or is it in the trophy case? Nick! 
Look at the cute trophies. Indeed. Just look at the awards this circus has won. Like, did I read this already? Yeah, I did read this already. Hmm? There's something shoved under the bookshelf. This. This is... Ah, that's Trello. It's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. Well, we'll give it back to him later. Triloquist. As in Vin Triloquist. Oh, I get it. I get it now. He's like, my friends call me Ben. And my puppet name is Triloquist. His name is Ben Triloquist. Wow. Wow. <laughs> How do I have to carry this? Why do I gotta carry this thing? Because you like stealing shit, that's why. Now let's go speak to Ben. Give him his goddamn thing. He knows all the secrets. Oh, hey, Ben. I, um, hello. Hello to you, too. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Y yeah, I, I do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Look what I got for you. Ah, Ben. This is yours, isn't it? Y yes, that's mine. Here you go. Chilla Quest returned to Ben. All right, Maya, let's get going. Isn't that time? Uh, it's it's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Oh, okay. Oh, can we not talk to Ben? So, Nick, where are we gonna next? Where are we going next? Let's see. Maybe we should go talk to the clown. Hey, wait. Who said that? What are you talk? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you you blind wrench. Wow. What's your problem, anyways? Do you know how to properly greet someone? Ben? Is that you, Ben? No, 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 no. I would never. It was me. Yeah, down here. Your, your Trillo. <laughs> that is Mr. Quest to you, sir. Learn some manners before you just blunt out my name. Now try speaking to me again, but this time with the proper respect. Not again. Mr. Quest, is that better? No. Look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. Trillo, we talked about insulting people, you promised. Oh shit. Beating the shit out of him. But he was mocking me. Not being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trillo. Nick, what just happened? Trillo's still a puppet, right? A ventriloquist puppet. Hey! Who do you think you're calling a puppet? Okay. Talk to me about Max. Would you mind looking at this? Um, uh, I <laughs> look how smug the puppet is! <laughs> oh my, I'm loving this puppet. Look at him. It's blinking too. That's, that's weird. They blink at the same time. It's like, it's like a symbiote. I guess we won't need it at all, huh? Huh. What about Regina? Well, he won't talk about Regina. Well, let's just talk to him normally. What happened? Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said you talking to me. Don't look at him when you're talking to me. Triloquist. You behave, you young man. Shut up, Woody. What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. The old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trello, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have the nerve pill or something to take right now? These two are really an odd couple, aren't they? Okay, okay. I'll talk. Gramps got clobbered over the head. He got clobbered. Let me lay it all down for you. The pay sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hand up my ass. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah! The creepy old guy who never fits, who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off for me, will ya? He's just another one of the dorks around here. Oh. Oh my. But I'll be fair. In a cesspool of human garbage mis masquerading as performers. I found my Madonna. Your... Madonna? Regina. My lovely Regina. She's stunning, right, Ben? Well, I'm not sure if I would go so far. You have to excuse him. He doesn't understand... 
He doesn't understand of what he speaks. Wait, what? He does not understand of what he speaks. I'm on the other hand. I'm an I'm an appreciator of true beauty. Hence why I shall marry her. M marry? The ringmaster got knocked up inside the cheap head by the flying fraud. You mean Max Galactica? Why you say that? Trillo, straighten up. Don't excuse people. Don't excuse people like that. Accuse. Excuse. Accuse. Straighten up. I made a wood. Besides, you you were there. You know what happened. You were there? <laughs> if you're that interested, then I'll let you in on the facts. I'll tell you about the facts. You you're gonna marry Regina? That's right. She she doesn't quite understand the joy that awaits her, does she? I think I'm beginning to see why she seemed troubled. Well, she... I don't care. This is my choice, not hers. We're getting hitched. I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? Well, I am, I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to... The rest is private. <laughs> <laughs> I love this fucking puppet. Oh my god. I think... I, I think this puppet might be my favorite character ever. Mainly because I'm giving him a shitty, like, Brooklyn accent. Well, um, the melody's pretty good. But those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Now, the lyrics are fine. He's like, I want you to touch me. <laughs> Who asked you? I'm the artist here. Um, thanks. Now that Trillo's here. Now that Trillo's here, does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, Butterface. Uh, what? You must have looked forward to tomorrow, aren't you? My, uh, my ambulance chaser. Wait, what? Mr. Ambulance I said my. Mr. Ambulance Chaser. Wait, what the fuck? You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? You talking to me? You know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. Tr Trillo? Enough jibber jabber. Let's get to the court already. Uh, hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial? Uh... Well, <laughs> that sure happened. Oh man, I love that. I love that puppet. I love the puppet so much. I want you to touch me. <laughs> I want you to kiss me. What in the world happened when, with Ben and Trillo? Quite a pair of those two. <laughs> what did that puppet... Oh, what? Oh no, what, what now? Oh, is he taking my badge? Did I get knocked up by a fucking monkey? Hey, welcome back, Nick. Th that monkey. Ah, uh, my badge. That monkey stole it. Wh what? <laughs> Regina, give me my badge back. Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute. You look so completely dumbfounded. Regina? You, that monkey. Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But, but my attorney's badge. It's my most prized possession. Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. I don't get my badge back. How can I flash it? Exactly. <laughs> That's all I really do. I just keep flashing my badge. I'm like, check this out. By the way, the monkey's name is Mon- is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Mon- Monkey? Monkey? What? Okay. Money the monkey. The monkey is called Money? Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if- Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have money problems. That was a cheap joke. That was such a cheap joke. It was such a cheap joke, but I love every bit about it. She said, even I got money problems. 
Whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where Money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Huh? You don't know? Well, money isn't exactly someone I'm on friendly terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Go to Mo's. Hmm. I guess it's time that I revisit that kooky clown. Talk about Ben and Trillo. Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? Oh, you mean the guy that's always hanging around with Trillo. Uh, what do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trillo told me that he was in love with me. Trillo told you he was in love with you? Yes, he did. Kinda cute, don't you think? He's so smart and such a wonderful singer, I love him. Oh. Oh no, we have a love triangle between a fucking puppet, a magician, and, and a tamer. But, what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me and my with me loving Trillo. You are... You are a piece of fucking work. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. What the hell? Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? No, that won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trillo both said otherwise. They said they asked for her hand in marriage. Ah, but Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not Regina directly. So I guess Trillo hasn't asked her directly yet. What? He's gonna propose to me? Hmm, I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Um, what? Who do you think I should go for, Max or Trillo? Wait, 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 what? You, you do realize Trillo's is a puppet. Huh? I don't care that... I don't care that he's a bit stiff. I... Mm, I don't... Mm, Japan? Japan, that is a joke. That is a joke? That they are making? Mm. Oh boy. That is a joke! Oh man. Oh man. I'm just gonna, gonna move on. I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move on with my life right now. That is a that is a joke, Japan. I don't care if he's a bit stiff. What? Huh? Detective Gumshoe took off already? Yeah, probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Yeah, I believe it. Time to head to Moe's room. December 28th, lodging house, first floor, Moe's room. Oh my, if it isn't it Mr. Wright all the time. Uh. <clears throat> it's all right to be wrong every now and again, right? See, Nick, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. I hate all of you. <laughs> now he laughs at the joke. So what can I do for you? Do you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair and just maybe pull my finger and let me have it. What? We're gonna get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? <laughs> How'd you know? I put a whoopee cushion on the chair. You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? I guess. Okay. Well, can I get my badge back, please? Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Ah, yes, Money. He stole my attorney's badge. Well, Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he swiped your badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. Huh? Why's that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Exactly! Bravo! Enough joking around, though. Money isn't concern, concern, uh, considered a member of Regina's family. Then who does he belong to? I'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. Is it that Arco guy I saw on the map? Me right now? Of course. Shall we go? Hmm. 
Should we go with him right now or wait a while? <sighs> might as well, might as well go with him. We can always come back and talk about Regina. December 28th, lodging house, third floor, Arco's room. Okay, so this is Arco. Hmm. This is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I, I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. Anyways, this is the place. Arco's room. Arco. He's an acrobat. I keep saying Arco. Acro. Acro the acrobat. I'm guessing, you know what? I just realized too, because I, I know they like to do puns with the names. I just realized why the clown's name Mo, because he's he's one of the three stooges. He's Mo. He's a stooge of a clown. God. <laughs> he's an ac he's a racobat. It seems like he's not around today. Yeah, that's a big pile of junk over there in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume the <sighs> Oh man, that was a yawn. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix stuff is over there too. Just be careful to make sure you got the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. See you later. When did the monkey add it to the court records? Well, time to get my shit back. Holy cow, there's a fork and a mirror. Everything's shiny. There's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this, it's a trophy. And it's really heavy. Nick, I found it. Your badge is right here. Oh, my beautiful badge. I love you so much, I'll never let you go again. Thanks, you really saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring. There's something engraved on it. From T to R. Oh, shit. See, before it's just a love triangle, but now there's an engagement ring. From T to R. What's Max's real name again? What's his real name? Let me see. I forgot his real name. It's like some country name, but not country name, but you know, it's like a stereotypical country bumpkin name. It's like Tommy Jones or something like that. Or Billy Bob. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Oh man, I didn't get to talk to Mo about Regina. You know, everything I can imagine... Oh, what, everything? Wow, where did I get that word from? Even I can imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet? Don't worry, Nick. No matter what we still no matter what, we still got the magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. Alright, investigation's over with. It only took an hour and thirty minutes. <laughs> Alright. Episode three, turn about, big, turn around, big top, turn about, big top, big top, circus, 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 porpoise. All right. I just spilt my fucking water all over me. Good morning, Max. Max. Mil milk. What? If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage. I just can't function, sweetie. Stage? Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess. Nick? Max is really nervous. That's understandable. Hey, my sweeties. What? You don't think I should fly, do you? Don't. Don't, Max. Huh? You know, you gotta make a good first impression. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little. No, 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 that's bad. Don't do that. We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It just wouldn't be right. Imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Oh, sweetie. What is, what is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? What? I can see it now. The dashing young lawyer flies fantabulously in front of, and from above. 
one glimpse of that, and everyone in the room will be on your side. Coming down like... <laughs> Phoenix Wright pulling a bat Jesus. You know what I mean? Like Batman getting lifted from the fucking... From the cave. Batman v Superman. Max, really, no one needs to fly today. Nick, what's with that look in your eyes? He's like, finally, everyone will love me. I like the sound of that. Dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. Maybe I will fly. December 29th, 10 a.m. District Courtroom number two. I am back once again. Welcome back. You made it just in time. We finished the investigation, and we are starting the first trial of case three. Oh wow, she already whipping the fucking judge. Cause got a midnight burrito. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of burritos. It's probably why I don't eat Taco Bell. <laughs> Your Honor, get on with it. Oh sorry, I just realized that the defendant's name is Billy Bob Jones. So his name, his name is Billy Bob. Oh my god. <laughs> That was a joke. All right. So. Well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, Your Honor. He does often go by that name. You know, my grandchild's a huge fan of his. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called the defendant Maxim Maximilian Galactica. Sounds more like... Sounds more friendly. Hmm. I wonder if that's to our advantage. Ms. Von Karma, your opening statement... How do I feel about the case so far? Um, what I feel about the case so far is... I'm still, I'm still, I'm still trying to figure it out, because I, right now, I literally have no theory as to what can happen with this case. Um, there's just too much going on at once. I do like the characters, though. Regina's cool. Moe's pretty chill, right? Um... Who else I ran into? I haven't ran into Acro yet, but that fucking puppet is my favorite. I love that puppet so much. But oh, and Max is cool too. Max, Max is a Max is a whiny, not whiny. What's what I'm looking for? He's spoiled, but he's still cool. He's still cool. When the going gets tough, he's like, all right, let me cut the shit. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, your opening statement. I like the character music for this case a lot. Oh, really? Well, let's see what happens. I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh man, someone's pretty mad from last time. Considering the fact that she knocked me unconscious. Eh? That's, that spirit channeling, uh, channeling trial was a shame. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. It's a shame, it's a sham. You, you, it was on national TV, Von Karma. And you beat me in court. Like, physically. And still, you're... Still, you haven't been... I haven't charged any fucking... I haven't... I haven't charged anything on you yet. Mm -mm. I should charge you for assault. I did not... It did not count, do you hear me? She must still be upset about what happened last time. You have no chance. Zero. Zilch. Nada. I'm not losing this case. Why you ask? Because it is not in nature of Von Karma to lose anything, besides that last case. I guess being born with the name Von Karma is a free pass to be ignorant and annoying. <laughs> ignorant, arrogant, eh, same difference. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. Me? Guilty? What are you talking about? It will be my ultimate revenge. But it's not like it, it's not. But it's not like it will bring her dad back. There, opening statement complete. Now let's hurry and wrap up this and wrap up this waste of time. Very well. You may call your first witness, Miss Von Karma, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Get out here now. Sorry to keep you from work, as I'm sure. You need every penny you can earn, detective. My man has no money. <laughs> He's broke. <laughs> All the time. I feel so bad for him. Don't mention it. It's no trouble at all. I've been looking forward to this. Very well. I would like you to be to begin <laughs> to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. 
All right, Detective, you may proceed with your testimony. All right, what we got, Detective? The night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. This dude works the hardest. Yeah, he definitely does. Like, you would, you would assume he would, get a, he would get a raise for helping take down the fucking the chief of police, but nope. They don't pay him shit. All the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. The victim was found bent, uh, bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. The only working theory I have here is that he may have been poisoned. Remember the case? <laughs> but what the fuck is this? <laughs> um, it's a, it's the case with the circus. Uh, I honestly, I have no working theories right now. The closest one I can think of is that maybe they po poisoned him with a poison that shows no traces. Because there are poisons that exist like that. There's like two poisons, I think. That exists with that leaves zero traces. Um, the cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped the vertebrae in his neck. Okay. See, earlier they said blunt force trauma. I thought maybe they're like, oh, we found a knot on his head, but that's it. They didn't say nothing about his neck being snapped. Okay, so, so there's no doubt that that was the cause of death. <laughs> so I'm gonna rule out poisoning now. I'm just gonna stop with the poison. I see. He was beaten to death. Here's the autopsy report for the victim. The court accepts this into evidence. Autopsy report has been added. Blunt object, hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, will you begin your cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. All right. As always, we must press for details. The night of the crime, snow was falling. Let me ask you about the snow. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half was on the ground. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm. The snow. Let me see. There's gotta be more to this. Eh, what's the matter, Nick? I need to t take a look at the court record. Mr. Gumshoe? What are the members of the- What the hell you mean? What? What does the snow got to do with anything? Picture of the crime scene? Hmm. Okay. Circus map, we got the ring. I don't know what the court record would do with that, though. Okay. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, there's a circus doing the night of the crime. All the, circus, all the circus performers were at the big top. When you say all of the circus performers, who do you mean? Everyone but the dancer and staff were there. Regina the Animal Tamer, Mo the Clown, Ben the Ventriloquist, and of course, the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, the Ringmaster. Oh, I almost forgot. Regent the Tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, what about the circus monkey? When I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. Oh, fuck. Maya says she saw a cheap looking fake wristwatch. <laughs> oh, man, she called his wristwatch cheap. Detective, you're welcome to file a police report after the proceedings. The practice session uh, was about 10 p.m. Okay. After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? Regina was playing with Regent while Mo went back to his room, tired from work. Ben the ventriloquist went to the front of the gate, went to the front gate absorbed in his own world. The ringmaster and Max went off to the ringmaster's room to talk privately. Talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? It seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max was asked for <laughs> Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage. Okay. I'd like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 1015. Um, okay. Not a problem, pal. We've got a witness saying, Ow! 
This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Hmm, alright. We'll just have to revisit the testimony later. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? Okay, well, he's obviously hiding something now. A wooden box. I haven't found a wooden box in my investigation. A wooden box. That's right. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Carrying the wooden box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention, it was locked. Ooh, that means something valuable was in there. Maybe gold? Maybe money? Locked, you say? Wooden box. About 20 pounds. Okay. This may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. Ask about the wooden box, ask about the lock, ask about the contents. Ask about the wooden box. I didn't fucking find it in my investigation. This wooden box. You figure it weighs about 20 pounds, right? Sounds about right. The whole thing is lined with iron. Iron plating. Why do you think it's lined with iron? I figured they just did it to make the box- Ouch! I think we could all do without your guesses, detective. Stick to what little you actually know. Sorry. Suffice to say, the box is really heavy. Much better. You may continue on, detective. Mm. The cause of death was blunt force trauma snapped the vertebrae in his neck. According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, Val. And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it is something that the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. No, no, no. I bet he made it disappear with the magic. There wasn't much that we could do. Uh, there was- oh, wow. There wasn't much that we could go after Gumshoe with this time. Wait, what? Okay, I read that right. <laughs> he gave us the facts as he saw them, but there's gotta be more to this. I didn't see anything. But that's why you're the lawyer and I'm the medium. Well, let's ask more about the wooden box, then. There's gotta be something. Right? We have two other questions. The contents and the... and the lock itself. Victim was found bent over a wooden box. Let's see if we can ask about the contents. I highly doubt anyone knows what's in, inside the box, but... Do you mind telling us what was inside the box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. Huh. Huh. What's in the bottle? I swear to God, if he- if it's like, it's poison. <laughs> bottle? What is that, detective? Actually, what it looks like, your honor. It's a condiment bottle. What's inside the bottle? It's filled with pepper. Pepper? Why- why in the world would- would lock bo Why in the world was it locked in that big box? There was only one little bottle in the huge box. I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. Small seasoning. Did he have a pepper allergy? Was he like, I'm gonna put this pepper in the box so no one can poison me. <laughs> and then he got some pepper in his food and he died. Well, I think we have a good feeling for the details of this event now. I guess that's all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe in this case. You mean we're all gonna we're all gonna get out of- Wow. <clears throat> you mean all we're gonna get out of him is a little bottle of pepper? And a box. And that we have wrapped up with a detective, I like to call my next witness. Uh, I'm not even off the stand yet. Obviously. But that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. I don't know. But wrap up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. I also love that Maya's back. Me too. Me too. I love that Maya's back. She makes me feel... When Maya's there, it makes me feel like everything's alright. When she's gone, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Miss Von Karma, call your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. Oh, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna love this. So must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. So must be talking. She must be talking. <laughs> I wonder if Trillo will show up on the stand as well. He better. Look at him. I love him. This is the best little puppet ever. 
Please state your name and occupation for the rescue. My full name. Hold up. How? What accent did I give him? I gave him like a fucked up Brooklyn accent. My full name is Triloquest. I'm employed by an operatic tenor. Wait, what? As an operatic tenor. Excuse me. The witness called to the stand was Mr. Benjamin Woodman, a uh, ventriloquist. That robe must have been cutting off your circulation. I said that I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine, I'll grace you with my song. <clears throat> me, me, me. The world of the law. Exciting and daring, guilt or innocent. Decided by a judge dressed up like a woman. Well, what'd you think? It has a good rhythm. It's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so to speak. Trillo, you know better than to insult a judge. Shut up. Just look at your nose. You would think you would have some sense to fix it. It's so ugly, I want to punch it in. <laughs> I want to punch you. <laughs> I want to punch you in the face. Off the off chance of swelling would help. You know what your nose is? The reason you'll never be an A-list star? Celebrities must really enjoy seeing everything that flashes into their minds. What's going on here? Order. I demand to know who the witness is. Don't, don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trillo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried about getting t <laughs> Ouch! You wouldn't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now, let's proceed. This dude goes wild? I bet. What did you witness? Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge, I mean clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza entrance. That's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. He was the one who headed that wait what? That's when he saw wait what? How is that possible? How is that actually possible? That wouldn't make sense, because Benjamin didn't know where the fuck Trillo was, was at that time. Max hit him already. So this is this is a lying-ass testimony. He was the only one heading that way. How could that punk not be the killer? Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. Oh, come on, Trillo, why are you lying? You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene. You sure of that? Without a doubt. He had on his silk hat, cloak, and the dumb white rose on his chest. How can you mistake someone with a crazy get up and his nose stuck in, stuck up so high? That's enough. I think we all get the picture. Just one thing. You say you ditched the clown? That's right, dress boy. Well, since you weren't with him, couldn't that mean the clown committed the crime? Hmm, he's got a point. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the culprit. Why's that? Here's absolute proof. A silk hat. This was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. Uh. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no reason for the hat to be on the scene. Hmm. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Your pers- uh, Perset- Wow. Why can I say the word? Prosecutorial skills are unrivaled. Well done. That is a that is a big word. <laughs> Thank you for stating the obvious. Why why did it why did the why did the words go away for a moment? Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? You're full of shit. I guess she's the boss again today. What you witnessed? I witnessed Max doing a moita. Once practice was over, I left town. So let me just see something real quick, because is there any statement that's like Max threw away the fucking... Like, this is the only thing that I can probably use to be like, ma'am, didn't he like yoink you up and toss you in the fucking shadow, shadow realm for like the day? <laughs> Alright. Once I got to the lodging house, I ditched him. That's when I saw Max head and seen the crime. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press everything just to be safe, but still. Like, I highly, I highly doubt. <laughs> the clown. You're talking about Mo? Of course I'm talking about that old thought. He's so pathetic I can't stand him. Just a little bit of exercise and his makeup is running all over the place. 
Once practice was over, he was nine-tenths of a way to kneeling over for good. Poor guy. We didn't have any choice, so Ben took him back to his room. When it comes to being a first-place loser, that guy's ahead of the pack. Well then, what happened? Okay. Why the plaza entrance? To do something, some thinking, of course. It was awfully cold out, out that out of, uh, blah, 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 blah. It was awfully cold out that night, especially with the snow around. Wouldn't thinking in your nice warm lodge house have been a better idea? Mr. Phoenix Wright, I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. But I'm a good thunker. At least <laughs> I'm a good thunker. At least my teacher always said But I'm a good thunker. At least my teacher always said I was. That's when I saw Max walking towards the scene of the crime. Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure. How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Snobby three-piece getup. Get the wax out of your ears, lawyer. Lawyers nowadays, they like talking to a brick wall. Max's three-piece getup. Jeez. You could be... Could you be more dense altogether now? Silk cat. Cloak, white roses. Thank you. Nick, I think you should put a little bit more effort into preparing your questions. What side are you on, Maya? Huh? Are you gonna help me or not? You saw Max and only Max, right, Trilla? That's right. And that makes him the killer. There was only one poison headed towards that heading towards that way that night. Hmm. That makes quite a bit of sense and makes Max one of the suspicious characters. There's more to this story that meets the eye, like Transformers. No problems. There's no proof it was Max. Ben only saw Max. Yeah. It's like, it's like you weren't there, Trillo. That's a bit strange, don't you think? What's strange? That you only saw Max? Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? What? What are you going on? Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? What else do you suppose the witness could have seen? I mean, Ben was there too, right? Could have seen Ben, or, you know, Russell. Don't hold your tongue, Ben. It's your job to answer all the stupid questions. I'm sorry, Trillo. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's, it's Barry. My bad. Alright, calm down, my I got it. Alright, I was just making sure. I was just making sure. Alright, cool. Just making sure, you know? Alright. Just making sure. <laughs> gotta check, gotta check every option that I can. I love this fucking, I love this puppet. He's so, look at this, look at this smarmy ass face. Now, which one did I fucking head towards seeing the crime? Was this the one that I... that I pressed? Yeah. Are you sure it really was Mac Galactica? 3P okay, yeah. It was the one after that. My bad. Short memory. Failed me. He's the only one heading there. Alright. Should be... Barry. That's the victim. That's correct. If Trilla was at the entrance to the plaza, he should have seen the ringmaster as well. Ow! Obviously, the ringmaster arrived at the scene of the crime before the witness could have seen it. Uh, before the witness could have seen him, anyone with the sense could have figured. Wait, anyone with sense could have figured something like that out. What are you talking about? The ringmaster and Mac went together to the ringmaster's room. Is that according to the defendant? A likely story. If Maximilian Galactica was supposed to be in the ringmaster's room, why was he just at the witness, uh, as the witness stated, at the scene of the crime? Ah, uh, I see. It seems that at the state, at this stage, I have no reason to doubt the witness testimony. And there's clearly no conclusive contradictions. He's right. A brilliant judgment, Your Honor. Now let's move along with the testimony. Hmm. 
Chula wasn't happy to have the ulterior motive incriminating Max, would he? Well, Max is part of that bitter love triangle with Regina. Which is probably why Max conked him over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked over the head? Huh? Yeah, I think so. I don't know anymore. Once practice was over, I left to the tent with that stooge. The clown. You're talking about Mo. Of course I'm talking about the Oh wait, no, I read that already. My bad. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's see. So what else did I have here? I mean, I would I would love to find a way to prove that the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. Um, I highly I mean I highly doubt that he's lying about that. Only one that was headed. Well, I, I'll check the other, the other option. But what I really want to prove here is the fact that there's no way. Wait, what? Can I not press this no more? What the hell just happened? You saw Max, and only Max that night. Jeez, you're persistent. Can ask all you want, my answer won't change. Only person I saw was Max. Okay, shit. Hmm. Well then, let's just press the last statement then. Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Hmm, I suppose it would have been around... Hey, what time was it? Uh, I think it was around, I say, a bit after 10.30pm? Practice ended at 10pm, so you hung around the lodging house the entire time. I, I guess that sounds about right. Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside in the wet in that weather. Well, the truth is... Will you shut your big nose dope? Why are you telling him anything extra? You can't... Why can't you believe that we just stand outside in the weather? Well, maybe you were waiting for someone. What? what? Who said we were waiting for someone? Mr. Phoenix Wright? We can all do without your off-handed theories. But this witness... He's cracking under the pressure already. I'm on to something. Mm, Mr. Wright? How do you suppose the witness was waiting for... Uh, uh, wait, what? Who do you suppose? Okay. Well, obviously, for Regina. Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. The dude's just digging a bigger hole? I know, right? And one person only. He was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. Oh my god! The puppet! <laughs> Trillo, no! You were waiting outside for Regina to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? And suddenly the puppet is back together. Is this true? Well, I, um... You can't really ask me that question. Who cares who I was waiting for that night? What's important is what I saw. Don't you forget it. Well, well, well. The puppet may be a bit stiff, but he's right. Eh... Uh, all right. There's obviously a reason why the witness was there that night. He spent all the time waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover, even if someone would have walked right in front of him, I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. Where the hell are you going with this? That makes perfect sense. What? <laughs> what did you? <laughs> what did you just say? The witness saw the defendant at the scene of the crime. However, he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. If you accept that, then you must accept that there is a high likelihood that... He could have missed someone else other than Max Hedden. Ow! There's absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. Um, um... I guess you got me. Alright, alright. I'll spill the beans for real this time. It's true. I was waiting for Regina. Pain. <laughs> Emotions. Sadness. Don't volunteer things. Mr. Quest. Please tell us the truth this time. And I mean the whole truth. Were, were you or were you not waiting for Regina at the entrance of the lodging house? I was. I was waiting to propose to her. You were what? Waiting to propose? What's the matter? You think that humans have a monopoly on marriage? That's... The matter of puppet marriage is not under review in this case. 
You're the judge. I mean, look at your horrible outfit. More pain. Hmm. Thanks to your blumbering, blumbering, my perfect plan is not so perfect anymore. The new side art thing? Not, oh, yeah. Yeah, Pearl and, uh, Pearl and, and Von Karma is there now. <laughs> I had to fucking redo it because I didn't find the, the file that I had saved, so I had to try and get it to match it up. Good. Uh, now we have to wait time on getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. About the proposal. Don't be so surprised that I was going to propose to Regina. I even had something to give to her. I kept it in my pocket waiting for a chance to propose and give it to her. Of course, I always had it in my pocket that night. Uh, it was a present for her. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her. So I've still got it in my pocket. Pocket. Why'd I say it like that? Pocket. My pocket. You were going to propose. You, a puppet. Don't be so obtuse. J just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love. I guess you're right. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't propose to her too. What? What the hell is wrong with you people? What? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if you notice, but there's an age gap. She's not even legal. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, Judge. Exactly. His honor's looking a little less than honorable right now. Damn right. Okay, Mr. Wright, please continue with your cross-examination. What was that? What was with that sigh at the end? <laughs> That's suspicious. Oh man, don't be so surprised that I was going. Well, I mean, uh, now that I think about it, it is you can legally get married at a young age. It's just you know you can't do the the, the adult stuff. <laughs> don't be so surprised that I was going to propose to Regina. I had something to. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm supposed to be pressing this shit. All right. By proposal, you mean proposing marriage, correct? To Regina? Of course, that's what I meant. What kind of stupid question is that? I wasn't going to propose that uh, we become some sort of outlaw biker gang together. Right, Ben? Yeah. Got it? That's the truth. In Japan, it's 16. Oh, no. I think in Japan... I think in Japan, honestly... I think the legal age of sexual consent in Japan is 14 with parental approval. I think that's what it is. That's why. <laughs> and then I guess I guess at I guess at 16 they're free to do whatever they want. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I yeah, it, I think it's in like some provinces or stuff like that. It's, it also has to do with like marriage and shit. It's weird. It's really weird. I even had something to give to her. I kept oh shit. What was it exactly that you planned on giving to her? You know exactly what I was gonna give to her, numbskull. The only thing I could find that would match Regina's beauty. Answer the question. What was it? You're gonna die when you hear this. It's an engagement ring. En engagement ring? Wow. Those two nearly fell off their chairs. Mr. Phoenix Wright's joke has gone too far. My joke? Time for this to end right here. Francesca's whip looks like it's about to lash out at almost anything. One hit from that thing will probably shut someone up for a long time. Pain equals bad. <laughs> Pain is bad. It just, it, it may be something of a joke, but this is historical moment. The first time that a puppet has ever proposed. Ah! I advise you to cut this argument short. I'm going to have to agree with the defendant here. Will the witness please revise their testimony? Specifically about the engagement ring. I like to stick to facts, non-social, non-sociologically. You sure do enjoy sweating the details, especially for a man in a black bath robe. I planned only giving the engagement ring to Regina. 
only to Regina. An engagement ring. Uh-huh. It's exactly a diamond-shaped stone cut from glass. Even more brilliant than the real thing, I think Regina is going to love it. It's just a ring. What's the matter, Nick? Well, it's gotta be something I can catch him on. I kept it in my pocket. That's a lie, because the monkey took it. Whose pocket was the ring in? Mine, of course. What a stupid question. You gotta be kidding me. You think Ben could pull that off? I'm, I'm sorry, really. You don't have to apologize for that. He's the one who should be apologizing, but I'm gonna beat the shit out of you anyways. Really? Of course, I had it in my pocket all night. Bullshit. So you went to the lodging house to give it to her? That's right. I tried to give it to her during practice so many times that I lost count, but... That uppity snob kept getting in the way. Uppity snob? He couldn't possibly be talking about Max Galactica. When, when I get a hold of him, I'm gonna saw, I'm gonna saw this wooden block in half, and not with magic. Well, they always say that love creates rivalry. So what about the present? In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I still got it in my pocket. Which is a lie. So you're still thinking of trying to give, uh, trying to give it to Regina? Of course I am. I spent three months' salary on this thing. I'm not gonna give up that easily. I wonder how much he receives for appearing in the circus. Probably way more than he deserves. How about it, Nick? I think about it's time to unwrap this toy's testimony. Ask the spirit, Nick. Give him heck. I shall give him heck. The judge has the dazed and confused look uh, again. Maybe he should get out more. Alright. So, I'm gonna... Either it's the last statement with the monkey, or it's... You know what? It wouldn't be the last statement, because he just changed it, didn't he? Of course, I'll have it in my pocket. I'll... Kept it in my pocket. Plan on giving her an engagement ring. Okay. I mean, he changed his testimony for this, so I assume changing the testimony would be the most important thing to look at. Let's see. A monkey who takes care... Uh... Habitually gathers sorts of shiny objects. From T to R, engraved on it. Okay, well. Let's save it here. So I don't fuck it up. Planned on giving it to Regina. Like, I don't think that's a lie. Right? There's no way that's a lie. But, it cha but he changed his statement here, so I might as well use the monkey on it, right? Nope. If the ring or the monkey doesn't work on this, then I don't I don't know why he needed to change his testimony. I plan on giving an engagement ring to to her. Huh. All right. Well, since I don't like having low health, <laughs> since I don't like having low health, maybe the last one. Yeah. See. That, that's what I'm thinking, like, the last one, but because he changed his testimony, I thought maybe that one would be more important. Because he doesn't have it in his pocket. There's no way for him to still have it in his pocket. Okay, see, well, that doesn't work. Well, then I'll just use the ring. Maybe that will... Maybe that will change. So I still have it in my pocket. Okay, so that so that other statement wasn't really that important. Alright. Trillo, do you mind if I show you something? What is it? What are you talking about? Uh, looks like they're gonna double team me now. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, that's... That's... That's mine. Give it back. Thief! Didn't you just testify about this very object? I believe you said. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her. So I still got it in my pocket. Why then do I have it right here? Maybe I will propose to Regina. Or better yet, and he turns around, hands it to Maya. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, Nick! What's gonna what's going on here? That's Ben say something. 
Don't put me on the spot like that, Drillo. I found this in Money's room. M Money's room? You mean a room that put money? Uh, they put money in, like, the bank vault? Ha! <laughs> that filthy monkey just gonna get what's coming to him. Mr. Quest, I would prefer if you avoid slandering innocent... <laughs> Well, Your Honor, monkey really money is a real is really a monkey, in every sense of the word. Oh, I see. Well then, monkey likes to go at monkey. God, it's fuck it's fucking me up. Money likes to go at the shiny thing, shiniest things that he can find and gather them up. Shiny things? Yes, like the ring to rule them all. Trillo, when was the ring stolen from you? Well, I suppose it was. That time, you know, that night? The night of the crime? What did you just say? Details. I need more details. Well, it was stolen right after Max showed up in the plaza. Right about when you saw the defendant walking past you, correct? Well, um, I guess. Might, uh, be able to say that. The ring might have, well, it could have been taken around that time. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh no, the ring. Ben, what's with you? Oh, never, whatever. It was nothing to do with any, it has nothing to do with anything, especially not who committed the moita. It's not for you to decide uh, what has to do with what. Now, Trillo, back to the topic at hand. I haven't admitted a thing. Not I, Mr. Trillo Quest. What do you do when you, uh, what did you do when the ring was taken, Drillo? You know exactly what I did. I chased after that ring snatching money monkey. Monkey money. Fuck. <laughs> I can't speak correctly. But you weren't able to catch up with him, were you? It's all this slow off's fool called Ben's fault. While he was fumbling his way through the snow, that dumb monkey was able to get away. That is indeed an incredible shame. Well, this does indeed prove one very important point. Prove an important point? What could that possibly be? Ben doesn't exercise enough. Testimony's flawed. Oh yeah, I said that earlier. It's Ben Triloquest. Cause he's all like, my name is, I forgot what he said his name was, but he's all like, but people call me Ben and this is my puppet Triloquest. And I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> all right. Like how, how Mo is called Mo cause he's like one of the three stooges. I don't know which Regina has to do. Maybe just because she's all prim and proper, I guess. Uh, there is, there's a huge contradiction in this witness testimony. Contradiction? The witness just testified to the following effect. Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. However, the witness just stated that he was chasing after Money the Monkey. When the witness was off chasing Money, there was no one watching the plaza. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Wright? Are you going with this little theory of yours? I'm saying that there is no possible way that with that the witness saw the plaza the entire time. And that's where I'm going with this little theory, which leads me to my next point. It is entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene. <laughs> I love and hate this shit. Me too. Well then, tell me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Do you have any proof that something slipped past the the vigilant ventriloquist? Well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arriving on the scene. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. The witness is lying. He's blinded by his rivalry with Max. Well, the defense argument does hold water. This court does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. What? How dare you? I wouldn't lie just to get the dark face in trouble. He's not even worth it. I saw him. Nobody about it. Uh, wait, nobody. No doubt about it. I saw the wit- the wit- wit- the fuck. Fuck, I can't speak. I saw the worthless liar. Well, just for clarity's sake, let's flesh- let's flesh out exactly who you saw on that night. Heh, <laughs> I told you so many times. You think you know my story not ch wait, what? You think you know my story's not changing. You already changed your story, stick boy. And I'm sure I will change it some more. Where there's one lie, there are usually many more behind it. Exactly, Maya. That's why they have to keep after him. That's why they have to? That's why I have to keep after him. Yeah. 
You know what's happening? You know what's happening with my brain right now? The fucking Game Awards fucked me over. <laughs> I lost all ability to read. I'll give you that I- wait, what? I'll give you that- wait. I am reading that right. I'm just reading it so fa fast that my brain won't register it. I'll give you that I was waiting that night for Regina. But that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He showed up after I've been waiting for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm absolutely sure it was him. I saw Max Millie Galactica at the scene. There was no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Hmm. So that means the money... That means that money didn't show up until after you saw Max. That's right. Money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. The money snatched the ring, and you went chasing after him. How long did you wait until you came back where you were waiting? Well, let's see. I say about... I suppose five minutes, I think. So the victim could have arrived at the scene in five minutes stretch. Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. Okay. <clears throat> I'll give you that I was waiting for her, but it doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He showed up after I'd been waiting there for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. Absolutely sure it was him. I saw Maximilia at the scene. There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Okay. Three symbols. Main order. Chooses murder. Okay. Just making sure. Alright, this this is definitely something I need to press on. <clears throat> I definitely need to press on this. Because there's nothing I have right off the bat. Doesn't change the fact that I saw Max and pause that night. I'll give you that I was waiting for Regina. Alright. So we're only concerned with waiting for Regina that night. That means you probably wouldn't have noticed if someone else showed up. You should think about how many eyes I actually have. I've got four, you know? Four. Counting Ben, of course. With that many eyes, do you really think something would have slipped by me? Four eyes is awful a lot of attention direction directed at directed at the area, I suppose. Yikes, the judge is even more dangerous in this case than Trello. Okay. So you saw Max coming out of the big top at night. Of course, that's where I saw him coming from. I was staring at the entrance the, uh, to the tent the entire time. I guess that makes sense, especially since he was waiting for Regina. Alright. About five minutes. About what time would you say these events took place? You were the one you're one of the dumbest people on the planet if you can't figure it out yourself. You already know that the practice finished promptly at 10 p.m. You already know that I went to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know around, to know wow, well, to know around what time it was when I saw him. Just add 10 minutes. I'm sure you can do that. Now what time is it? Indeed. What time was it? Hmm. What time was it? Let me think about that for a second. Ow! I'm not good at math. <laughs> he said I'm not good at math. Uh, yes, that sounds about right. Sounds like... <clears throat> sounds about right because that's the time I saw Max at the scene of the crime. Alright. Said good evening to him. So you testify that you said good evening to Max that night. You must enjoy asking incredibly obvious questions. You say good morning in the morning and you say good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I say good night to someone at night. What, Ben? You got something to add? <laughs> Let me guess. That's not it, Trillo. You say good evening at night. Uh, I'm sorry, Trillo. <laughs> Stop beating me up, please. Mr. Quest, I would prefer if you kept your ventriloquist act outside of the room, outside of the courtroom. Impossible, I perform. <laughs> a performer lives and breathes his performance. You should know better. Uh, there's gotta be something wrong with this bit of the testimony. Nothing especially. Trillo's evening greeting, Ben's half of the comedy act. Is that a bit strange to you? What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. Wh why would it strike you as strange? Exactly. 
How so strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Well, if it was sim if it was simply just being cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. Ow! That hurts. Maybe you should think. I love how she's like, why can't you understand being cordial to your co-workers? But earlier fucking gum, she was like, man, she came to the precinct and she beat all our asses, man. It sucked. <laughs> he said, you think you got it bad. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, shit, I pressed the wrong button. Maybe you should think of having some proof before your lips start flapping next time. Proof is everything in the world. You should have learned that back in grade school. There's no reason that Trilla would ever say something nice to Max. But how do I go about proving that with evidence? Bluffing is everything in this world, but I'm sure you but I'm sure you already learned that one. I guess I can give it a shot. The witness will resume his testimony. I'm absolutely sure it was him, Maximilian Galactica. You're hundred percent absolutely sure of what you just said. I told you already, jeez, I'm hundred percent absolutely sure. There's no way that he could be any more confident than that, right? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Alright, so... Say good evening to him, and didn't acknowledge my presence. Alright. I'm going to use this statement with said bottle. There you go. Trillo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? A fight? A fight over Regina, to be exact. It wasn't that big of a deal. It was just an argument, a disagreement at most. A disagreement usually doesn't end with someone getting clonked over the head. That morning, Ben got clobbered over the head with Ma uh, by Max, didn't he? What? Is that a... <clears throat> Is that a admission of the assault and battery? Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. The truth is that, on the day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight. There's absolutely no way they wouldn't have suddenly become cordial that evening. Moreover, just considering the personality of the witness on stand, there's no way a puppet this lewd would- Wow, what? <laughs> there's no way a puppet this lewd would just up and say good evening to his rival. He'd be like, how's it- He's like, how's it- How's it hanging, sweet cheeks? <laughs> Are you saying- are you saying this witness is lying? That he's trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the- at the crime scene? I mean, he wasn't even there. Like, if this took place after he got clobbered, then fucking that means Ben couldn't find him. I didn't tell a single lie, honestly, I did. I- I, I just- That's enough from you, Mr. Quest, Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Let's clarify this testimony from the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? He didn't see anyone. He saw the defendant. He saw a different person. Uh, I mean, in my mind, he didn't see anyone. That's what I'm thinking. Because... <laughs> he's just <laughs> He just said, like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, but in my opinion, he didn't see anyone. Because he, he shouldn't have been there. Of course the witness didn't see a soul that night. I see. Who who do you think you just you are just to up and decide what I saw that night? A fool can only understand a foolish foolery utter, uttered by the most foolish of fools. This witness didn't see anyone. You couldn't happen to have proof to back that up, uh back that statement up, would you? I guess not. Nick, I just thought of something. If Ben and Trillo really didn't see anyone that night. They would have testified that they greeted someone that night. Oh. Huh. What do you mean? I think that Trillo really did say good evening to someone that night. But Trillo and Max, they were in the middle of a huge fight. Maybe you should just think this over. Okay. So I guess he didn't hide the puppet until after that night. I assume that he instantly hide hid the puppet. Alright, well, then he saw a different person. It's my belief that the witness- I mean, I mean, without a doubt, it's already obvious that he saw someone else, right? Because fucking, you can see the- <laughs> You can see- Well, not- not that shit. I don't think I have, like, evidence to show it, but there's like a- 
There's like a picture they showed of like the coat and hat hanging on a fucking stand. Like anyone can just yoink that up. It's why I believe that the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else that who that he was saying good evening to. What kind of theory is that? The correct one. Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. What? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there's only one proper answer. The pertinence the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That is why Trillo made the effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Or, good evening, as he puts it. Huh. What in the world? You. Would the defendant kindly explain who it was Trillo saw that evening? Uh... I mean, he doesn't like Mo, And it could be Russell. Right? I mean, he's... Uh, did he even like Russell? And if he's waiting for Regina, it can't be Regina, because he would immediately propose to her. So, I'm going to assume it's Russell. Considering the ill temper of the witness, there's only one person he would greet. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. No, Your Honor. It's not Regina. If it was Regina, Trilla would have gave her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah. I suppose you got a point there. It was Russell Berry, the victim himself, was it not? You're correct. It was indeed Russell Berry. The person you saw that evening was the victim, the ringmaster, Russell Berry. That's why you greet him, Trillo. Isn't that correct? Answer the question, Mr. Quest. Hmm. See, my question is, how the fuck did Russell grab the the hat and coat without without um Max seeing him. Order, how do you respond to this? W wait a second. Well, at first I thought it was the old man, but once I got a better look at him, it was obvious Max Max Maximilian Galactica. That is that is such a mouthful saying his name. I think it's high time that we clear the air about this question. Mr. Quest obviously witnessed a single person in the area of the plaza that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who the person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica? Or was it the ringmaster, one Mr. Russell Berry? The prosecution argues that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. The witness had clearly stated that he saw the defense three symbols. Three symbols? That's right, it's getting old. Come on, man, you gotta remember them by now. Here we go again, everyone, all together. Yes, yes, we know. The silk hat, cloak, and the right white rose. A silk hat and a cloak. Everyone could... Anyone could wear that. They even look good on me. What was that? I said I look sexy, Karma. You heard me. Well, the witness was endlessly repeating that he said Max's three symbols. However, how do we really know it was Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed up as him. Possibly even Russell Berry. What? Miss Von Karma. Do you have clear evidence that the person the witness saw was the defendant? Well, I... You concede? Is that what I'm hearing, Von Karma? If that's the case, then it's impossible for me to make this judgment at, a po at this point. Yes, I think we finally won a point in this one. That is very unfortunate. Huh? You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Wright. What do you mean by that? You merely establish one thing from this, from this witness. You establish that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... But? Who the person was can only be answered by the next witness. Huh? Your Honor, the prosecution will provide... Uh, will provide beyond a shadow of a doubt an answer to the question and evidence that clearly establishes one thing that there is no one other than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime very well the court will take a 10 minute recess during that time I request the prosecution prepare the next witness the court is now in recess huh okay
I need to take a sip of my water. My fucking throat is killing me. <clears throat> All right. So, I still have zero working theory here as to what could have possibly killed this fucking man. By now, I would have, like, a theory of some sort, but I have nothing. There's just so little evidence to go on. Evidence that aren't really tied to the crime, just tied to circumstances around the crime. God damn it. Sweetie! You have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then, where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? It was in the ringmaster's room. It was in the ringmaster. I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there... Oh, my bad. That's Phoenix talking. And while you were there, was the ringmaster who left the room right? Ex Wait, what? <laughs> Literally hardly remember how this case turns out. Yeah, fuck. Man, I have... I have no fucking idea. Because it... I just want to know, if Max waited in the room for that long, how the fuck did the coat and unless someone made a second hat right because it said it's only one of a kind someone just made like a spare exactly he told me it was uh well he told me he uh, blah, 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 blah. exactly he told me to wait in the room because he would be right back that's when the ringmaster hand, uh, headed to the scene of the crime right that's what it seems like but the ringmaster must have been wearing max's costume right Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Yeah, I can see that. Which means... It means that the ringmaster could have taken the costume and went to and went out looking like Max. Fabulous! This is fa But how would you not notice that? The coat rack is literally right there. Like, as he's walking out, he's like, I'll be back. I assume you look at him and you go, okay, I'll wait. And then he walks out the door. Well done, Nick. However, sweetie, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm. If you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double, hmm. Wow, Max, I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Well, I was never quite sure uh, what to be when I grew up. Magician or pr or president. You have no idea how hard it was to make a decision. Decision? Why did I say it like that? Ugh. <laughs> That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. December, courtroom. We're back at it again. I'm back at it like a crack addict. Now everyone is back. Let's get started. The court is now back in session. Ms. Von Karma, please proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well. I will now call my next witness. A pitiful clown with the unfortunate dis distinction of having seen the entire thing. Oh god, I stuttered that. I stuttered the whole way through that sentence. Will Mr. Lawrence Curls please take... <laughs> Lawrence Curls. Maximilian Galactica 2020. <laughs> Why did she just call, a, call him a pitiful clown? Aw, sad clown. The witness will state his name. You know what's really funny about clowns? Uh, what's funny is I remember I came home one time and my mom was just like, she's just like, hey man, I have these pictures, these like framed pictures of like clowns and maybe you want to hang them up in your room because your sister doesn't want them. And I'm like, what? Why would I want to hang up fucking clowns in my room? <laughs> I still have them too. <laughs> I never hung them up, but I still have them in this room. It's just two pictures of, like, just creepy-ass clowns. <laughs> the witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. I want them. Hey, man, you can have them. Like, I looked at I said, this is something that a murderer puts in their room. Like, there's no way. There's no way I'm hanging this shit up. And West Clownopedia, born and raised. <laughs> wow. My man was really about to, my man was really about to sit there with the whole Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh my god. 
Well, the witness please inform the court why he's speaking uh, autobiography, autobiography, oh, autobiographical, I can't, biographical gibberish. I can't fucking, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a courtroom in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke is best suited for this sort of occasion. What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall of justice, not some comedy club. Since it's easy to see your occupation, please state your name for the court. Oh yeah, maybe this joke is okay. Mom, do I have to wear pants? The sign only says no shirt, no shoes, no service. Hmm. Okay, okay. How about this? Have you met my my pro what? My protocologist, Doctor Seymour Butt. How's that one? Ha 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 ha. But a couple of clowns who are, <laughs> but a couple of clowns who are up to no good started making trouble in the neighborhood. <laughs> Lawrence Curls, professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown. You witnessed the scene around 10:15 p.m. the day of the murder, correct? Yes. Yes, it is. Very well, Mr. Curls. Will you please testify to what you saw that evening? A rabbi, a priest, and a Rastafarian walk into a holy shit. <laughs> Let's not finish that joke. A rabbi, a priest, and a Rastafarian. <laughs> oh, poor Mo. Can't get his normal stoogy self in court. I know, I know. I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able to make people laugh for 10 years. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and polite applause. Since no one ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken to laughing at them myself. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. Imagine my predic- How is this a- how is this a testimony? Imagine my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm also useless. But I keep trying. I even try to come up with jokes just for f just for today. But this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try making everyone laugh. Seriously, everyone, what do you think of me? How am I doing? That's not a testimony. Um, aren't we the ones supposed to be asking the questions here? Witness? Huh? We will listen to your call for help after the court's proceedings are over. Thus... Please stick to the facts of this case. Really? You really hear me out? Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait. Where was that joke going? I don't know. <laughs> my man, like, you really got, you gotta be, you gotta be ballsy to walk in a courtroom and be like, so, a fucking rabbi, a priest, and a Rastafarian. <laughs> Now, let's settle, let's settle this, shall, oh, uh, wait, what? Now, now that's settled, shall we begin once again with the testimony? Of course we can. I'll take you as long as you want. I'll talk to you for as long as you want. I'll take you. What the hell is wrong with me? All right, the real testimony. The night of the murder after practice was over, I went straight back to my room. You have no idea how, I, how tired I was that night. I was pooped. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. It was the ringmaster and... Well, first of all, you said you saw a silhouette, so how can you fucking identify them? That's already a, flaw, a flawed testimony. It was the ringmaster and and uh, he was Mac, he was with Max wearing his cloak. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clocked the ringmaster over the head. How can you identify them if you only saw silhouettes? That's very interesting. If this eyewitness account is to be believed, I have enough to pass judgment right now. Well, at least not to be believed. Of course you can. There's no way that this account, uh, this account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit, how do you say, off kilter? Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt around him, because he does. <laughs> that must be because of my insincere smile. Mr. Wright, please begin cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, you gotta find some kind of contradiction in his testimony. I know that. Mr. Wright? Your Honor, I'm afraid that if you push this witness too far, it would bring disaster upon the court. Thus, I sincerely hope you are not going to engage in pointless uh, saber-rattling. 
I understand, Your Honor. If you can cause this clown to stray from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. So they're telling me not to press anything, or I'll fucking get hurt? Why am I... Why, why am I responsible? I'm not the one with the corny jokes. Are they telling me not to fucking press everything? Will I get smacked? <laughs> Jesus. Well, let's... Let's, let's say that. I don't want to risk that. I think there's like two pieces here in his testimony that I want to question. First of all is when he says he sees silhouettes. Sleep, I didn't glance out the window. It's when I saw silhouettes. <clears throat> far away, you say? If you had to say exactly how far uh, were they? Let me think about that for a second. If my room is here... And you look out, yay, and <clears throat> and they looked about yay big. I say they were about thirty feet away. That is, a, mm, okay, just thirty feet. That's not far at all. You sure about that? Yeah, it's snowing that night, and it cut down my visibility. I see. Please continue with your testimony regarding the two shadows you saw. He just fucking. <laughs> he basically just said he didn't see nobody. Oh man. It was the ringmaster. Kept watching them. All of a sudden, Max clocked them. Alright. Well, let's continue with this. You said you clearly saw this, even though you were, by your own admission, far away. That's right. I have been thinking about it over and over since that night. Which you're not supposed to do, because you'll start remembering things wrong. But things didn't really make sense until I spoke with the prosecutor, Miss Von Karma. So she... Alright, so she fucking... She altered your perception. By now, I'm 100% certain that I saw Max and the Ringmaster. That, I, that it was Max and the Ringmaster. I saw them that night. Just think about it. How could I be wrong if Max is always wearing that uppity symbol? Uppity symbols. Lawyers nowadays. Do you even have to go to school anymore, B1? Alright, everyone knows what to do. All together now, say it with Uncle Mo. Yeah, you see, that what's, that's, that's what happens. See what I mean? It's always like this. The crowd never wants to get go along with me. I must really be utterly and completely worthless as a clown. Yowza! Enough foolishness. Get back on track. Will the witness please testify to what he saw and only what he saw? I kept watching them and suddenly saw Matt clock the ringmaster over the head. You say you saw the ringmaster get clocked over the head. Yes, I did. It's the climax of the story. He really does enjoy the completely random non-sequitur. Well, uh, what would you say the victim was struck with? You mean the weapon? I have no idea. A weapon wasn't found at the murder scene, right? That's not what I meant. You did say you did see everything, didn't you? Well, I, um, yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't see a weapon. Mo. Did you, or did you not, see the crime of murder committed that night? I will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Oh, now he's poor. Instead of pitiful. Because if you don't, you- oh shit. You know what's waiting for you. you a nice penalty. Oh, she's ready to just kill me! Isn't that a bit melodramatic? She's just ready to take off all my health. How is, how is this harassment? <laughs> Come on. So what will it be, Mr. Phoenix, right? How do you, uh, do you have any clear basis to believe that my witness did not see the crime? Of course I do. Of course I have grounds to make this claim. Then let's hear it. That's something I can't share with you at this time. Wh what did you say, Mr. Wright? I know there's something wrong with this testimony, but I can't put, I can't put, uh, wow. I can't put why I feel this way in words for the judge. Maybe we should get a bit more information. Once we find something more solid, we can give it another shot. Yeah, you're right. Mr. Wright, before we resume testimony, you know that you must be penalized. What? You just took off my whole entire health bar! Come on, man! 
What the hell? Oh wow, you just... You just... Hmm. Dude. What the hell? Come on. <laughs> Court is adjourned. What the hell? You're really on some shit, huh, Judge? Dude. <laughs> what the... Come on. Come on. That's why I saved it beforehand. That's why I saved it beforehand. I knew they were going to pull some bullshit. I was like, are they going to kill me for fucking pressing something? All right. Let me think about this. So... I... So, we know that we can prove... Well, we can't prove at this moment. But that is down the right way. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, let me think. Um... Shit. Okay. I have no idea who's trying to work that night. Okay. A lot of murder happened. The night of the murder, practice was over. I went straight back to the rim. I had no idea how tired I was that night. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. That's when I saw two silhouettes. So we... We press that, and then we press this. But the last one, we can't press. So first of all, let me just press these two. So it registers that I press them. Because, you know, it likes to do some bullshit on me. So that's pressed, and this one's getting pressed. Because those are important. No foolishness. Alright. Now that those are pressed, I'm gonna save it, so we don't have to do that again when I, when I eventually fuck up. Because I know I'm definitely gonna fuck it up. Um, shit. What the hell? What the hell would I do? All right. I'm really thinking about this. Okay. Was the ringmaster? You know what I'm gonna do? Since I just saved it, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fucking press one of the statements. <clears throat> I'm just gonna press like the early statement, see if I get penalized for doing so. Uh, would you say the practice wrapped around 10 p.m. Correct? See, that's the thing. Huh? How exactly am I supposed to make a joke about 10 p.m.? Ah, oh, fuck. Now, 8 o'clock, that's something a cloud can riff on. Let's just pretend it was 8 o'clock. Oh, shit. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not make it 8 p.m., alright, Mel? What do you mean, let's not? Talk that. Uh, don't take the clown out of the clowning around. Come on, Nick, just listen to his joke. No! We're not listening to his joke. I'm gonna get hurt. There are three reasons why I don't want to. One, probably won't laugh. Two, I'll get hit with a penalty. Three, I'll get whipped. Well, the witness just proceed with the... With, okay. You're so boring. What do you mean I'm so boring? The hell out of here. Alright, I was pooped. Well, that one's definitely gonna lead to a joke. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but I looked at the window. You just happened to glance out the window. You could say that. You can also say I peeked, stared, glimpsed, peeped, eyeballed. Mr. Curls? Oh. I guess cinnamons aren't allowed either. Uh, what should I do? I wonder if I should press him further on this issue. I, th I'm gonna press him further. Exactly why did you look out your window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out their windows, do they? And that's not what I mean. I meant that well. When we spoke yesterday, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. I totally forgot about that. It sounded like a giant thump.
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh no, oh no. He's like, I heard someone fall, it was hilarious. You forgot? What the hell, what is my dog doing? He's making a lot of noises back there. How? He did not just simply glance out the window that night. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention that thump, didn't I? It's not something you just forget to mention. Um, yeah. What she said. I believe it would be best for Mo were to revise his testimony. Okay. Very well, Mr. Curls. Please revise your testimony. This should start turning the tables in our favor. Okay, so we got we got somewhere with that. The fact that she's gonna kill me, like, scares me, for just pressing, for just doing my job. I heard a huge noise outside the window, and that's what made me look outside. Can you tell me what the noise was? Okay. What was the sound like? Well, I guess it kind of sounded like, hmm, you guessed it. Mr. Girls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary? Oh, don't you know why I'm gonna make a joke? I guess the sound sounded like a, uh, I suppose it sounded like something getting hit with something very hard. Yep, that's what it sounded like, honestly. Someone getting hit, huh? What then? You went and look out the window and you saw... Okay. Ringmaster, Max. Watched them all of a sudden and clocked them. Alright. So, never uh, heard a huge noise. No an idea. I tried last night. I was okay. So that one's definitely gonna be a joke, and this one's definitely gonna be a joke too. So I'm assuming now. Heard a huge noise outside the window. When I saw the silhouettes, they were a bit far away. Now I think I have enough info to press this statement. I shouldn't get penalized for this. I hope I don't, at least. Shed Ringmaster got clonked. Yes, I did. It's the climax of my story. Really do enjoy random sequiturs. I mean, the weapon, I have no idea. It's not what I meant. I suppose I did. No, wait, I didn't. Okay. Mo? Did you or did you not... I'm not permit to harass my witness. You know what? Actually, do you have any clear basis? I want to say I do. I feel like this is the right one, but something's just telling me that it's better to just not. I don't want to... You know what? I'll do two separate saves, right? I'll do two separate saves. Of course I don't. Well, you see, right now, I don't have a clear basis. Then it's just another one of your pointless efforts to badger my witness. Thus, you earn yourself a penalty. Okay. Let's... Let's load it up. Actually, you know what? Let's load up that one. I got a great reason to make my claim. And I suppose you will tell us all this great reason? Of course I will. The reason is... The witness' very own testimony. Okay, so I did have enough information. Cool. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Wright? Mo said that he earned the sound... That he heard the sound of a thump. Of someone getting hit. Hmm. He did say that. However, he said he didn't see the murder weapon. Right? I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clonked the ringmaster over the head. If Mo was to be believed when he said he looked out the window upon hearing a sound, there's no there's no way that he could well, there's no way that he could have seen Max clonk anyone. I have no idea what he just said, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Mr. Curls, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's ass assessment? They didn't commit they didn't commit. These clowns promptly escaped from the maximum security clown car. Mr. Curls? Are you reciting the C-Team theme to anger this court? No, I'm just stalling for time while I jog my memory. Great job, Nick. These types of witnesses only seem to have a selective memory. 
You just have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth. Don't you look at me, Maya. Don't you look at me like that, Maya. You know that was a great joke. You know it. Well. Uh, you're back from your jog. Well, this pretty much happened the way I said. Pretty much. When I looked out my window that night, the ringmaster was already face down in the snow. The prosecution helped me fill in the gaps of my statement. Von Karma? Tampering with the witness again. So now you're saying that you did not see the defendant clock the ringmaster. Yes. When I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already checked out. Checked out? Yep. He was on the pavement. He was on a permanent vacation, as they say. Mr. Curls. Your Honor. You did not witness the actual crime. However, you still say you saw the criminal, correct? Yes, exactly. The ringmaster was slumped over and I saw someone's silhouette next to him. Very well. Then please testify the silhouette you saw. I expect the truth. And if you even catch a hint of a joke from you, I will put you in a hole. <laughs> Got it. Silhouette. It was a bit far, but the shadow could only have belonged to Max. There's no doubt about it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. His silk, his silk hat, the black cloak, they were all there. His face was silhouetted, but there was no doubt that... Uh, his cloak was flat and was uh, fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. Hmm. It does seem to be the defendant has a sense of... Has a sense of... Was at the scene of the crime? It took long enough to get this fact straight. But whatever. This should finally be good enough, yes? It is a, it is a decisive testament. Decisive. Decisive testimony. Well, Max really is at the crime scene that night. He said he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. All right, Mr. Wright, commence your cross-examination. Okay. I'll get penalized if he starts cracking jokes. How come I gotta get penalized for it? It's not my witness. Okay. It was a bit far away, but the shadow could have only belonged to Max. There's no doubt about it, especially since I saw his opening symbols. Silk hat, the black cloak, they were all there. His face is silhouetted, but there was no doubt that it was him. Okay. I don't think he'll make any jokes here. I think I think it's all good. I think it's all good to uh, start pressing away. Do you think that you're getting, going a little overboard with with how explicit you're being? The shadow belonged to Max is an awful is an awfully firm statement, don't you think? What are you getting at? I'm just saying that one of your fellow performers' life is on the line here. Are you truly 100% absolutely certain that it was Max? I'm not that kind of person who would lie about something as serious as this. The silhouette I saw was Max. I'm convinced of that. You're convinced of it, but do you not remember it? What the hell? Let's go over this again then. What makes you sure that you saw Max that night? There's no doubt about it. The symbols. Trillo said the same thing. But if it was just the symbols, then even I could have been wearing them. What if someone had just taken Max's symbol and wore them? I thought of that myself. But just looking at the shape of the face I saw, it must have been Max. Hmm. You sure of that? Such a silly little boy. He threw his entire case headlong into a trap. A silk hat, black... Black cloak. You sure that it was? Uh, you sure that it? Uh, wow. You sure that it was? Uh, da, 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 da. You sure that it was what you saw that night? Exactly what I said I saw. Exactly what I saw. I got eyes like a hawk. Hmm. Don't birds have terrible night vision? But that's not all. Okay. His face was silhouetted. There's no doubt it was him. You were able to see that kind of detail from your window. There was light near the scene of the crime. She's right about that, there was. Anyone with decent eyesight would have been able to see that much. Out of curiosity mode, what is your eyesight like? I can see like a hawk out my left eye and the eagle out my right eye. Our records say that his eyesight is a perfect 20-20. 
That must mean he could have seen the crime scene clearly. Hmm. The more we look into the matter, the more suspicious it becomes. Yeah, you asked me that. <clears throat> you asked me what my eyesight was like, not what it actually was. His cloak was fluttering in the wind. You can really see what he was carrying. So, you didn't actually see what the criminal was holding. That's correct. I've been curious to know what caused that loud noise. It must have been something incredibly hard. Too bad they haven't found the murder weapon to be no to know for sure. They claimed it was a blunt object, at least it said so in the autopsy report. With Trello's testimony and now Moe's, it really seems like Max is the killer. Nick, you gotta find a contradiction in this. That's not gonna be enough. What? I have to prove that Mo saw someone other than Max that night. That's the only thing we have to do. Hmm. It's a bit far away. Shadow could want the Max. Um. There's no doubt, especially since I saw Alpha symbols. Silk hack. Okay. His face was silhouetted, but there's no doubt it was him. Cloak fluttering the wind. Realize what he's carrying. Alright. So here's what we got. We have a picture of the crime scene. His hat. The symbols. Um, map of the circus, the monkey, engagement ring, Omtansi, the chess, and pepper. Then we have Max. Trillo, and Ben, Regina, and Russell. Hmm. Damn. His face still wet it, but there's no doubt it was him. Shit. Couldn't really see what he was carrying. Silk hat, black cloak. There's no doubt about it, especially since I saw uppity symbols. It was a bit far away. But the shells that belong to Max. It's either that statement or the second one. The shadow could have belonged to Max. Hmm. Papa Trello won't say much. Could have belonged to Max. There's no doubt about it, especially since I saw him as. Alright. I highly doubt this is going to work. But I want to use the promo poster on this. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. You say you saw all the Max's uppity symbols. I suppose so. The silk hat and the cloak, right? Mo. Everyone knows what Maximilian's Galactica has these three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yeah, everyone get ready all together now. Silk hat, cloak, white roses. What the? Who cares if he went... <clears throat> Who cares if he went there with a three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. You didn't see the white rose. Because he's facing backwards. Okay. Isn't that right, Mo? What? Do you like pie? He <laughs> starts saying the numbers. I'm surprised he knows that many. Silence, fool. You're to respond with the whole truth. No fact. No fra fractions? Fractions? Order! Mo, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. The crime scene was dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. That's a lie, because you just said there was a fucking lamp there. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette from the crum from the criminal's face. Not to, mention, not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. Then the roses must have fell off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Mr. Wright. Are these white roses truly materials to the fact of the case? Clearly not. He's just toying with the court. I got her on the ropes now. These seemingly insufficient facts have never failed to lead me to the truth yet. 
Someone's toying with me. Uh, someone's toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trials... Uh, trials... Trillo's testimony? There was no way I would mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. How could you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Trillo saw them all. Trillo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims there was no white roses on the person that he saw. There's absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Hmm. Now, what am I supposed to think? One is supposed to discard the pointless, but this. Judge, forget the roses. Think about his other testimony. The witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this case up now. Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that unlikely, unlike wine, the witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not mature. I come to a conclusion. I'm 99 certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. Which would mean that for my peace of mind, I'm not going to request... <clears throat> I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? If there are no contradictions in his, in his next statement, I'm prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance. You're damn right it is. The Silhouette Part 2 There's no doubt in my mind there was no white roses there that night. However, all the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing... He was wearing the entire time that he was on the scene. <clears throat> My voice is slowly going. Mr. Wright, you got one last chance at this. You damn right I do. And I'm not gonna fuck it up. Just one chance? I will not allow... I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against this witness. If you are going to prove to me... There's a contradiction with Mr. Claude's state clause. Quirrell's clause state. Bleh. Mr. Curl's statement. <laughs> you better have at least sh a shred of evidence to back up your accusations. Accusations? Accusations. I only got a single shot at this. I gotta be careful. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I will need. That's a lie. I need multiple chances. So I have to prove this without pressing, it seems. Okay. There's no doubt in my mind, there's no white roses. I don't think that's a lie. However, all the other symbols were there, I'm equally sure of that. I think that's the lie. Especially the silk hat, there's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. He said he hung it up when he went to go talk to... He said he definitely put it back when he went to go talk to, uh, whatchamacallit. To Barry. Is there a statement I have for him? I wish I can take, like, statements. That would help out a lot. Uh, shit. Map. This. I mean, this, <clears throat> sorry, this can be used to point that, like, hey, like, I can use this to just bring up the fact that he, he was, like, when he went to go see him, he fucking, uh, took off his stuff. Um, I don't think the hat would help me. Made to order, that it's a symbol of Max's fabulousness found at the scene of the crime. A picture of the crime scene. Okay. Um. He said all the other symbols were there, so this, I don't think this will do me any good right now. The map, the monkey. And I don't think any of this will do me any good, because no one is gonna. I don't think I can take, like, statements from this, so. I'm gonna try this on this statement. 
Nope. Wait, can I? Alright, hold up. He said... Wait, it seems like they're not going to kill me instantly for getting the wrong evidence. But will they kill me instantly? In string? Will they kill me instantly for... For, uh... Dealing with the testimony. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Damn it. I wish they were more clear on what they were gonna, like, insta-kill me on. Because he said he doesn't want me badgering the witness. Mo, be honest. Ow! Yep, see? Yep, okay. Yep, so definitely, definitely none of that. Definitely none of that going. Alright, so I was right with that. Definitely none of that going. So they don't want me cross-examining. Alright. At all. All the other symbols were there, I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat, there's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. I mean, there are decorations on the hat, right? There's decorations on the hat in the photo. Damn it. Damn it. He was wearing the entire time. This one is a, this one's a lie. That statement is definitely a fucking lie. There's no there's no doubt about that one. This one would just be repeating something that we just said. There were no white roses. Yeah, he's not lying about that. So it's just that one statement that's obviously a lie. It's just I don't know what the hell. All right. I really I really don't think that using that using like someone's profile on this would help. But if anyone would help, it would definitely be Max, because he said himself that he took it off when he uh, when he met, when he went to go talk to Barry. Okay. Well, is she gonna is she gonna instant kill me, or will I get a second shot? I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Okay, so they'll give me a second shot for that. I have like two more to go with. So this. So it's not going to be any profiles. Picture of the crime scene. It's not that. It's monkey, the ring. I mean, I can I can use. I don't. <laughs> I really don't know. Especially the silk hat, there's no way I would forget seeing the decorations on it. All the other symbols were there, I'm equally sure of that. There's no doubt in my mind that there's no white roses that night. There's no doubt in my mind there are no white roses that night. Okay, so he's saying there he's saying there is white roses. He says there is white roses. He's seen all the other symbols. Especially the hat. And that he was wearing them the entire time. This is such, that one's the lie. That one is such the lie. It's just I don't, I don't know what to use on it. I can just start using everything with everything. Okay. All right. Now. I'm not sure where Phoenix is going with this, but the reason I chose that is my thought process was that maybe just choosing the hat will make Phoenix say that he stated that he left the hat behind, but maybe Phoenix might go somewhere else with this. I don't know. This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you were talk uh, you saw that night, would it? Yep, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind. Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma! Where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. The crime scene? 
That means... The silk hat had fell off the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the con to the contradictory. What contrary? What the hell? The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. No, that's not true. Where the hell are you going with this? Are you saying that he also saw him walk away with the hat on his head? Is that what you're saying? Because if you're saying that, then it would definitely be suspicious that the hat would be left there. Yes, Your Honor? What's the meaning of all this? You are old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's not right. That's just, that's harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory amongst other things. What? Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess, you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? Just because you're sitting here- Oh god. Oh man. Oh. And no matter how old I get, I'll always be younger than you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Enough of this childish outburst. Mr. Claus? Mr. Claus? Mr. Curls? Who do you think you are? I saw him. I swear I saw him. It was Max. Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat. I'm telling the truth. He's turned into a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing the, wearing the dumb silk hat. He was there. He left the scene. So there we go. So he is saying he left the scene with the hat. So it's really suspicious that it would be left there. Obviously he's being framed. What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo? What do you want? You just say that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, uh, he went... What do you mean, how did he leave the scene... You can't ask me that. What do you mean I can't ask you that? I can totally ask you that. Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, Your Honor. No, 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 You stop. <laughs> this witness testimony is a full of holes. Miss Von Karma's protest. Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that all right with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides. What kind of stupid question is, how did he leave the crime scene? The answer's obvious. He just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected you to say. You sure that's how it happened? Say what? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any- Oh my fucking god, what is with you people in, in just insta-killing me? Do you have any proof? Do you have any proof to counter his story as to how the criminal left the scene? I mean, the crime photo. There's only one set of footprints, right? That's the only thing I can think about. I'm gonna use the crime photo. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. So, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he... Uh, Your Honor. This witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. A move to strike all this witness testimonies from the court's... I move to strike all this witness testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown's car he came in court. Wait just a second. You guys can't just ignore everything I said. Fine, I'll tell you the truth this time. Wait a second. I think you said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt. I'm sick of t I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways. I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear. I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are going to get worse before they got better. Mr. Lawrence Curls? Yes. The testimony you'll provide up until now has been false. It hasn't been false. I haven't lied. It's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on, on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. 
Especially since Von Karma, her whip, told me not to talk about what I really saw. Order. Order. I will have order. Francesca Von Karma, how could you? She's like, she's like, of course I did it, Your Honor. If you had already, if you have heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say, Mr. Mr. Curls. Damn. Ha! Huh. You're not going to believe this, but it's all true, I tell you. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic dribble. Uh, he's going to say he upped and flew away. Now it's time for our next segment, Mo Knows. Everything that I said up until now has been the truth. When I look out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white robes, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw he... He just flew away! <laughs> this is the truth now. Get ready for it. He flew. He jumped up and flew through the air. He flew right off the dis right off and disappeared into the darkness. That's why there were no footprints. Flying people don't leave footprints. I'm moving some wires around. <laughs> There's a lot of wires. Cause I gotta I gotta God damn it. <laughs> there you go. Gotta plug up my goddamn headset. It's starting to die. I told you it wasn't funny, but you, uh, did you believe, do you believe me now? But let me plug this headset up so I don't fucking, so it doesn't die. So it doesn't die in the middle of me doing this. Alright, it's plugged now. Well, that was, um, how do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of the crime by flying, there's no way that actually happened. You're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses. You won't believe me, especially since it's the best part of the story. Hmm, to be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness testimony, Mr. Wright? <sighs> this is all a dream, right? I mean, technically speaking, he is telling the... <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. His eyes were playing tricks. <sighs> I don't want to put this there, but... I mean... <sighs> He's telling the truth, Your Honor. What he just said was so strange, I don't think he would even make it up. Which means that he's telling the truth. That's what I think. Nick, wait! That means Max, uh, Max actually used magic. Yikes, you're right. Ow! Only a foolish, only a foolish looking fool would be fooled by such a foolish, foolish, what the fuck? Don't be ridiculous, magic doesn't exist. Oh, but communing with spirits does. I suppose I will let you, I'll let you all in on, on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around how that could have got, uh, how could that, eh. Can't wrap my head around how it would happen, okay? You imbecile. If you disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Karma's case is sound. I, however, got the feeling that this case is dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceeding at this point. It is undisputable fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind the mystery of mysteries. Huh. Jesus. I believe that that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. December 29th, 2.33 p.m. Hey, sweeties. What in the world's going on? That's what I want to know. They said the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but didn't you, but didn't you fly that night? Did you? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fab fabulous, stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please. It's not that easy. But it looks so effortless on stage. It's not that simple. It's not actually flying on stage. 
I use invisible wires and have them hoist me through the air. Wow, you just told me the secret to your magic. No, I broke the first rule. The cardinal rule, the only rule. I'm sorry, Max. We made you break the magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. Nick, what do we do now? All we can do now is hope to find the flying criminal in, uh, in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best and catch this sucker. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> that, uh, that case has taken a lot out of me. It's not even the case that took a lot out of me. It was fucking... It was the Game Awards that took a lot out of me. Okay. Well, why, why did it... Why did it just go past... Whatever. I'll just do it. I'll just do that one. All right. December 29th, 3.03 p.m. Um, Nick? What is it? I got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yep, magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearl did magic tricks? Hmm, what kind of tricks was it? Let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. What are you, Maya, fucking child? First she put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated. She could move it up and down, and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? What? How are you going to do that? Nick, you're like a real magician. See this? This is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of magics if you keep trying to figure it out. Listen that Listen to Maya's music. I love the music. You can't help but love that music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's great. I love it. It's amazing. Alright. So. Looking at the time I have left. Unfortunately. I do not have that much time left. To do this. So. I'm going to end it here for tonight. It's a good spot to end it. Um, next time I stream will be... It will be two nights from now, so... Um, it'll be Sunday night, Monday morning. And I'll either be doing one of three things. It will be either between Folklore, Corpse Party, or More Phoenix Wright. Right now, I'm probably going to say... Right now, this second, I'm probably going to say Quartz Party probably has it. Mainly because... Mainly because I feel like I need to do more with that. And then, who knows? Right now, Quartz Party or Phoenix Wright has the lead. If I don't do Phoenix Wright that night, I'll definitely be doing Quartz Party. And then the day after that, I would do Phoenix Wright. But if I do do Phoenix Wright that night, then I'll do Quartz Party the day after. Unless I decide to change my mind and I'll do Folklore. But... That is it for tonight. We've made a lot of progress, I would say. Usually, uh, usually we do like maybe two investigations and two trials until we get like what to the to the final case. Then they'll make me do all three days or something. But as of right now, as of right now, I would say that I'm not I'm not too crazy about the case itself. But the characters are nice. I like the characters. Now, they're not the best characters, obviously. But there's a good handful of characters. That's where uh, that's where the beauty comes for this one. So, as I end this, as always, I want to thank those who came and watched the stream. Who are watching the stream live and within the VODs. And, yeah, that just helps out and it supports and all that jazz. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, comment, like. If you are subscribed, think about clicking the notification bell. If you want to watch this live, um, you can check the schedule tab on uh, Twitch. My Twitch is, well, my Twitch is right there on the video, but it's also in the, in the description and fucking, and, uh, and I think, I think it's in my, like, links or whatever the hell YouTube has. 
But that is going to be it. Uh, and yeah, as I said, for the next two nights, there won't be streams. But then on Sunday night slash morning, depending on where you live, um, it will it'll definitely I'll definitely be doing more either Corpse Party or Phoenix Wright. So, as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.